James Pete, I'm an Arsenal fan, joined by Ernest, a Manchester United fan. This party is better than any Man United player. <laughs> it's better than any Man United player. Yeah. I'm joined by Adrian, a Liverpool fan. We got my boy Robbo, best left back in the league. You're screaming this a bit much, aren't you? Screaming ah, I was screaming on the last part, but it never made it out, did it? Mike, Mike. Ah, uh, fair enough. <laughs> so I was like, I have to give man, man, man the accolades. <laughs> we're, a, we're a couple men so down this week. We're a couple men down this week. Thank God, they're about to talk crap. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Mad. Uh, let's kick things off. At... Especially Oscar. That's oh, why he's not here today. <laughs> that's why he's not here. That's why let's kick off at Wembley Stadium. <laughs> convenient, isn't it? <laughs> Very convenient. Where Tottenham beat. Don't I'm beating all year. Mo was here. And Mo was here. Pumping, mm-hmm. Making noise. But now, they've been humbled by Spurs. Wow, man. Saturday night kickoff. Uh, what did you not take from that game? I said, you know, what, what did you not think? I, I was in shock. <laughs> I, was in, I was in disbelief while I was there. That game showed me that. I'm not going to say Chelsea's a one man team, but flipping it. <laughs> Which man? Everything runs through Jorginho. <laughs> Yeah, you reckon they... But like when he's nullified... Tottenham just nullified him out. Tottenham just did their job. But for me, the biggest embarrassment is that Moussa Sissoko was in their midfield. And bossed it. Bossed midfield. I don't like seeing him do well. He's, he's <laughs> been doing well for a few weeks. Like, I've just had to ignore it. I've had to Because he's a bunch of figure, isn't it? He, like, got, he, he got, liked to laugh at him. He but. was in the French national team over the international break. How's he no, got he wasn't. Has, how has he got in the squad there? No, he then he gets so, so a Sacco or so. Sacco, Sacco. Yeah, but still. In his national break. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, as an international break just gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mohamed Isako was in the first. Yeah, the Palace fans were worried they weren't going to make it, make the United game. Apparently, picks up like a little knock. Are you joking? <laughs> I wish I was. Seriously. Oh wow, that's weird. That's okay, so maybe that's the Isako one isn't that big, big of a deal. But he's still got it nonetheless. No, he's, oh, he's still me then. Eh? Uh, were you not surprised by the victory? Do you know what? Obviously, the manner in which um, it's sort it's of it's Spurs it. popped them was kind of mad, but I feel like. Not that Chelsea have been patching things up. They've been doing very well this season. But do you know, like, what it's like, you sort of, like, your car, yeah? Mm-hmm. And it's like, the clutch ain't working. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you know what I mean? And, like, the steering wheel's a bit funny. Like, if you go over yeah. 60, it starts wobbling and yeah. all of that. But it's like, it hasn't broken yet. Yeah. It hasn't broken yet, and it's getting you through. Then all of a sudden, everything breaks at once. <laughs> in the middle of the M25. Because I feel like, cause the thing is, I deep the Jorginho thing when we played them in the Carabao Cup. But it was, it was actually Fabregas. Yeah. And the way this guy was dictating and dominating this game yeah. in the first half, I was like, we need to do something to Ooh, stop Fabregas. it. Fabregas. Yeah. But because but, essentially they play the same role, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. And then um, when we sort of put somebody a bit closer to him, yeah, he wasn't able to impact the game in the same manner. And I thought like mm. here, like Deli Ali was just on Georgini because it's essentially he's the hub. So it's like when he gets when he gets going when he's making things happen, the whole team's playing better. And if you stop him in his infancy. Or, or as somewhere saying the embryonic phase, like, <laughs> Embryo. like it's techie, isn't it? I mean, you know what? Like, it's funny you, you mentioned uh, D- Deli Ali there, and it's funny because his stats before the game was five in five against Chelsea, mm. and I was sitting there thinking, Nah, he's he's not going to be here. He's not going to be here. I'm not going to see any goal from him or nothing. And then he pops up with a goal. And I thought, I had, up. I had a good, I had a decent performance. I think also, he had a very good performance. He occupies spaces that are not normal. Well, are they not normal? I just don't <coughs> think he can dominate. Like, he has that spot in the final third where he's in between the the two centre-backs sometimes, but, like, the the, the, the right-back and the centre-back. And if you don't watch Deli Alli, yeah, he will just go past you. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I think he's a good talent. I think he's a talent. I think he, maybe the injuries have knocked him a little bit, but I think he's, I think he's a good talent. Off, off the ball, it's fantastic. I don't think he's necessarily techie on it, yeah. but just, like, his movement and the way he has on this, the way he occupies space... It is a tight, he's gifted at that. Can we officially ban and bar David Luiz's name to be, ever be mentioned on this podcast again? Because Oscar at the start of the game, first of all, not on David Luiz, but he was saying, Rudiger, watch Rudiger, right? Watch Rudiger. And tell me about Rudiger. I said, he, he's telling me I have to watch him. I said, I have to watch him. He goes, why? Why were you watching him? I was saying, look, I know the Rudiger I've watched this season, the last two seasons. I know the centre-half pairings I've seen of Chelsea the last two seasons. And what I saw defensively of them on Saturday... More so David Luiz. I mean, David Luiz was just comedy. It was actually... You know the thing he did with Mata at, at Stamford Bridge? Yeah. Did it again with, 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 the, sun, with yeah. the sun goal. I couldn't believe it. Like, he just... He went to... He went to... No, but... No, it wasn't no, t- no, but before oh, the sun goal. Before the sun goal. He's yeah. a clown. You're paid to defend. Well... That's your you wage. Mean, you mean the, the Kane goal? Yes! He, he actually gets out of the way. He comes out of the way! Like, Like, Kevin getting beat from there, you thought... 
rah. But then, you know, I looked at his expression. His reaction was very much like, for flip's sake, guys. Bro. Like, he was really annoyed. He was really annoyed. And I felt really sorry for him. Because I was thinking, you've got to deal with that two years of your centre-half for the rest of the season. Because they're an awful pairing. They're not good. They're a terrible team. <sighs> they're a terrible team. I say awful. They're awful. No, awful and I said no, at the awful, beginning, awful, how long I said was, you know, they'll get you through and then they'll let you down. When you need them most. I want to tell you something. David Luiz let Chelsea down at, at Stamford Bridge against United and he let him down again. And if I see that he's playing against Fulham, then, then it's clear what Sarri thinks about... about the, you know, it's almost like, it's not stubborn, but it's very much like, I like this guy. Because I want to get on to Sarri and I feel Ooh. like... No, no, no. Don't segue there. I feel like I know you're gonna. No, go. because I feel like you're stubborn anyway. I feel like the stubbornness is good in terms of if the personnel's better. Because I don't think Chelsea's a Chelsea's a complete team yet. I don't think he has his full eleven yet, and that's clear because he just came in the summer or whatever. But I feel like there's things that he's done and he's gotten away with, mm-hmm. and Tottenham exposed. I do think that Chelsea fans are overreacting in terms of oh, this is. <coughs> <laughs> there is a lot of overreaction. Is it overreaction? There is a lot. Of like that. I feel like Chelsea finally met their kryptonite, and we finally seen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chelsea can lose. Rare, rare. Yeah. And, and I feel lose. like. I feel like they got <coughs> pressures <coughs> because Tottenham defend from the front. Mm. They press you from the very beginning. They they were pressed. They had that so much energy. And the reason why City can beat them is because City um, practice passing in tight spaces. Mm. So, yeah, you can come and press us, but we know how to release the ball Yeah, because we know you're going to press us. Yeah, like, yeah. Pep does his homework. I feel like with Chelsea, with Sarri, I feel like Sarri is being exposed for his naivety in thinking that the Prem has the same passing speed. The speed of the pass is faster than Serie A. Mm. And I think for the first time, it's like, you're getting teams that are in your face <coughs> early. And I, I, can, I can even highlight the West Ham game. West Ham were on them. You see what I'm saying? And West Ham are just not a good enough team. Yeah. Tottenham have people like Kane, people like Ali, people like Ericsson who will press you from the from the offset. Yeah. And I feel like Chelsea's midfield because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I Chelsea's midfield has people like Jorginho in it who are still adapting. People, I, I say, I think he's a baller, but he's still adapting to the Premier. Yeah. I feel like Kante's position. Yep, here we go. Here Kante's go. position has been um, very much so. It works in some games, doesn't work fully. Yeah. Whereas when Kante was player of the season, when Kante was winning the league at Leicester, mm-hmm. he was the guy in defensive midfield. Sure. I don't think he's a great holding midfielder. Mm. I think he's a sick DM. Mm. Because in terms of holding, I feel like you need to be able to keep possession smartly. Yeah. Not, not just like you keep the ball you know, moving back and but right and left. Because I was reading um, a few stat graphs on, your, on Liverpool's midfield. Mm. And a lot of this season, I think... Gini and Hendo yeah. have been right left. Kate has been forward. A lot yeah. of his passes have been forward. Yeah. And you look at Jorginho, like he keeps the ball moving right, left, back, forward. He does yeah. he does a whole shebang. Yeah. But I feel like Kante's left isolated when sorry sorry, I think as I said he wants him to attack. Yeah. He wants him to be and I'm like, Kante has the capabilities of doing because he's a footballer. But his bread and butter is mm. putting out fires. It's mm. forced. For you to change his his role, I don't think the, the 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 job has changed. I think the role is different, so he thinks he has to do something different. Yeah, yeah. In parts of the game, I was like, where is Kante? You remember I told you, like, in the Man United game, I said, I didn't see Kante until he took the shot. Yeah, yeah. He's very non-existent in that midfield. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like Jorginho works better in a midfield where there's two runners, there's two box Like, two Aaron Ramseys would be sick in Chelsea's midfield. Because he clearly can't run. He, 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 like, Kante, yeah, Jorginho can't run. No. Um, I was saying to Oscar, like, they've got to bring Kante back in that space because mm. there was too much space where Jorginho He's the best fireman in the world. Yeah. We want him to be a paramedic. See, this is what it's not his record. You're, you're spot on. That's what he's put up <laughs> Stop sending him out in, in, in the field. That's not his job. I couldn't help but think Let the best DM fires. in world football is not playing DM. I, I, it just it astonished me. Because it's I thought, well, when, when did Busquets play for Chelsea? Nah, oh. he's easy, 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 easy. easy. <laughs> Busquets is the best DM in world football. I mean, is that what we're doing? Is that yes, he is. Nah, he's not. Let's, not, let's not let Big Sam hear this. It's, it's N'Golo Kante, I'm sorry. It is N'Golo Kante, to be fair. He is the best DM in football. If not, best central midfielder in football. Whatever, whatever position you want to call him. What? Because, you know, like, at, at Leicester, he was, he was part of a pair in, in a 4-4-2. So, he was a central midfielder, essentially. You know, and, and then, yeah, I know. 
four four two won the league in twenty sixteen. I know. Um, well, trust. I'm still a big fan. It's my favorite formation, to be fair, because I like having two centre forwards. You need you need legs, bro. You do need legs. Yeah, I'm, legs. I'm sure. Yeah, no. Nice. Kante has like four. Yeah. That's the thing. You can just run either outside of drink water, left and right. Because so. imagine four four two with Jorginho and Kante. It's not. It's not too bad. The thing is, you, you no, know, is literally two men. Yeah, he's two men. So you can have Jorginho in between. And he Kante's. loved it. Like, he is, loved the big, being the bulldog. The bigger red flag is Chelsea don't have two strikers that can score goals. So, did, did they even have one? No, no, of course not. And it's time to drop Morata. It's time to start Olivier Giroud. A man he said... Has be, he has to be the starting A man said to me, Morata has been offside more times than Bournemouth this than season. The, than the club. Than, Bour- than Bournemouth. every Bournemouth player. Bournemouth. Wow. Put together. That's wow. mad, you know. No, nah, they're starting not right. They, do you know what? They, they they got it wrong. They got they got that transfer wrong. He's, he's, he's not uh, a bad player, but he just don't work out. He just hasn't worked out. Do you know what? I think he's just not that good. Yeah. I, it's not even a case of he's not a bad player. I just think he's just not there. I said well, it he's, he's not what, well, if he's put 60 million man on a leg man, he's not that, is he? He, has, he hasn't got the balls for it. He's not... Damn. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the thing is, I feel like for him it's more mental than think, techni- technical. I feel know, technically like he's good. I'm not gonna sit here and say that like, he's crap, but no. just like he's, he's a coward, he's a wimp. Yeah, he's soft. He's, he's too soft. soft for the he's, too soft. League. he's too soft. Said he's where, where it works in Italy and it works in Spain, he's too soft in England. I said he's yellow, yellow bellied. If he did, if he did four months in um, in HMP H- Brixton, H- yeah, bro, it'll come out. It'll be a bit more tough but until then. <laughs> There's no chance. No chance, mate. Yeah, no. I, I think we we have to learn a valuable lesson with this Lukaku and Morata signings of such astronomical fees mm. that clubs are gonna look twice when it comes to signing a, Maybe a striker four times. because they can't they can't get that kind of money wrong and and then let the player they get out of that money. It's just it's not on. They can't they can't afford to do that anymore. So I think even I don't, I don't even know what the tra- who, who's bought a striker since since then since Morata and Lukaku. In the world football? Yeah. I'd say Arsenal bought a Dortmund. Yeah, Dortmund Paco. bought... Uh, Alcos- Paco. Uh, was it Alcacer? Alcacer. Um, you know. Inter. Who did Inter buy? Lautaro. Oh, yeah, Lautaro. Is he a striker? He's, he's quality. I didn't know he's he was a striker. I always thought he was like a just behind. <coughs> but, yeah, anyway, no. These 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 players are, are, are... You know, I'm sure we'll get on to United a bit later, but, you know, these players are showing us that, look, you cannot... These are two signings that are awfully bad. And they were two of the marquiest and they were the that, year. Marquees that year. Exactly. That year. It was both both broke two, couple, didn't it? Yeah. I remember of the three, it was the Lacazette, Morata and, and Lukaku mm-hmm. who were deciding, you know, who will finish with more goals that season. Mm. And if, I, if memory serves me correctly, Lukaku probably gets yeah, has, like, scores the like most. four goals difference. Um, but, you know, it's just, he's, he's not kicked on from there. But, yeah, Chelsea, I, I also, do you know what? Tottenham, though, they were, they've got a big week this week. Mm. And, I think they're just pumped for it. They're just on it. They they had Chelsea. Do you think said, you beat them? Uh, yes, at the Emirates. Yeah, it won't be easy though. It won't be easy at all. I've heard a lot of Arsenal fans with mad confidence, and I feel like Tottenham. I feel, I feel like this is the game that. Because at, at home they don't beat us at home. That's the that's that's they, the they thing. They just don't beat us. That's at the home. thing, and and I feel like I feel like Emery's gonna be on it. Yeah. I feel like Emery has got you lot pumped for. I, I want to say big games, but we've only played one since since Chelsea. Yeah. But that Liverpool performance was a one. Um, <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. We, we tried our hardest. And I feel like you'll do the same thing with Tottenham. Plus, you got a break as well, or the potential anyway for a break, because you got Europa League on Thursday, but and you've thing, already qualified. I'm I'm worried though, because I think Emery's going to send some first team players out there, and I'm just thinking. To do but, what? That's exactly what I should say. You've because qualified. He takes but, but, that but, thing but, seriously. But I don't man. I don't think their squad is. I don't think there's. As much as he takes it seriously, I don't think their squad is big enough to afford for like eleven Eddie and Ketias or not on the pitch. I don't think. I mean, Wenger would have blatantly done it. Like we, we were blatantly seeing. I youth. mean, I mean, a Mickey, a Mickey, if you want, if he's not going to start. Well, but. the Mickey's in the squad though. He's in the first team squad, and he he will have to be in and around. If it means on the bench, he has to be ready to come yeah, on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, even if yeah. even if even if it, he doesn't start. After playing in Ukraine and then come back, you know, you know, no mass. Yeah, you know what I mean. You don't, you don't need it. Spurs to oh, you know, you know, I'm playing at home. No, we're away. We're away at um, in Vorska. Vorska. Vorska, and then at two o'clock at at home to Spurs. I think Tottenham. Just... I think Tottenham will be pumped. Tottenham will be pumped. But the thing is, that's what I'm saying. The, the beating Chelsea, they they look they were they were up for it against Chelsea. They'll be up for it against Inter what Milan. Even right? though I hope Inter Milan do something, they'll be up for it against Inter Milan, and then they will come to Arsenal. They'll be pumped. 
That's the thing with, with Tottenham. They're the team that are, they're, they're always more on it than Arsenal are in, the, in these games. But the result never shows. I mean, do you know what? Out of, besides the, the 2 0 win last season, I don't remember a win for Arsenal in the North London derby. It's been a long time. If you were back to Adebayor, no, Podolski. <coughs> Rosicki. A win? The Rosicki, I'm yeah. thinking of Rosicki. Rosicki's 2014. That's ages ago, where you played twice a season. That's far too many games. Do you know what I'm saying? 2014 is the, is the last one before last season, I can remember. What about Giroud? Giroud was the, was, the, was the home game that season. When Giroud scores the flick, it's 1-0, and that's when we signed Ozil literally the day after. That's the same season, but the home game, which was at the beginning of the season. So you've had a draw? I remember mean, <coughs> Danny Rose... Danny I mean, Rose out there, gave, out there. No, I'm talking about the Emirates. At the Emirates, it was... It was 1-1. Danny Rose gave Kane a sick ball. And then there was another one where Vima scores an own goal at the Emirates. Vima scores, that was 1 all. That was 1 all. So that's two draws I'm thinking two of. Two 1 alls, yeah, yeah, that's two 1 alls. Those are 2 2. But already you're in 2016. 16 now, yeah. 2017, it was 1 all again. No, 2017. Yeah, 1 all again. And then 2000, and where are we now? 18. 18. 18's when we, we beat them. We beat them, you know. You beat them what, Christmas? Like it was a December okay, game. I think it was that. Sanchez. Sanchez, it was Sanchez versus Sanchez, and only one Sanchez won. What a good goal that was. He scored a great goal in that game. So, uh, Mustafi scored the first goal. Mustafi scored the first one. Um, but yeah, so, you know, at home it's not been it's not been happy days, but getting beat at home has not been something we're, we've been accustomed to. We've only lost once at the Emirates to them. So, it, it's, it, you know... At, when was that? Two, oh, don't, don't remind me, 2011. I, we, we used to play football on a Saturday down at Birders Park. I, I remember watching the game, the first five minutes, Nasri and Shamat scored in five minutes. I said, brilliant, I'm off to the Oh, was, was, it, was it 3 2? We lost 3 2. 3 2. It was Van der Vaart and all that, man. It was the year of Kabul. Oh, God. Oh, it was the, it was the days, yeah, it was the days where Arsenal would take a lead. Arsenal would take a lead and still lose games. And yeah, still lose and draw games. You know, that year we had so many games that we, had, that we, that we lost, that, you know, we lost, we dropped points from. But anyway, um, so yeah, am I, conf- am I confident? Not necessarily. But I think we'll win and it will, it will be a hard-fought game. Like Arsenal, there'll be an injury. It'll Arsenal cost you, it'll cost you a play. Arsenal need to be on it. If Arsenal are on it, they'll win. But if Tottenham come up with more, coming out, coming out us more pumped, then that's it is, I think, it is. I think I think they will be. And I think, <coughs> I think, I think the biggest the biggest player on, on, for Arsenal will be Torreira. I think he will, yeah. because their midfield is probably the least of the pressing... Yeah. No, I'm not going to say the least of... Like the pressing defensively because yeah. they do a lot up front and they do a lot in the back. Yeah. If you can somehow, I think it's Tottenham can concede goals. I'm not worried that's, about. That's I'm, weird. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried it, about that. I think they concede goals. They, they they're not they're not as watertight as they used to be. Mm. I think they whether it's age, whether it's especially different players, if it's, it's new. If it's, um, my man, what's the youngster? Fourth. If he plays, you're well, not gonna have fun. He played well on Saturday. To be fair, to he Fourth. did. He but then, well but then look Saturday. at the wolf. I always have the Wolves game in my head. Yeah, that those were just two clumsy challenges. I mean, credit to the guy. Next week he played. He, he came and scored against Palace, and then he, he scored uh, against had a Palace brilliant for performance against Chelsea. Mm. Um, so maybe so like that's a baptism. Don't get me wrong. Listen, Aubameyang, Lacazette, they will score against any defense, any defense, you, any team. They'll score. Mm-hmm. So I'm not worried about us attacking. I'm worried about us at the back and in midfield. Midfield, I'm worried. I'm I'm worried about midfield. And, and do you know what is? I think it's hit me after the Bournemouth game was that. Do you know what? Our midfield is still, it's still so not. Told you, it's, it's still not. not it's, it's not. It's, it's, we haven't found the right formation yet. Something's just not yeah. ticking. But, but whatever it is, it works without Ramsey. And I, well, I'm listen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy to go. I'm more than happy to Like Ramsey. it works without because uh, because when because <coughs> I was talking to D today and he was like, oh, um, did Özil play? And I said no. And I said I wouldn't. I wouldn't have played Özil in a game like you this. Heard because Emery. Emery said you know it's, it's a physical game. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't want a man that's because you saw Mickey. And I and I and I love. Should that. we just kick? Should we just forget Chelsea and just say that they're dead and move on to the Arsenal? Game? I mean, we're already there. Like, but yeah, because on. for flip's sake, Mkhitaryan. That was a wow. That was a, a, officially a bad day at the office. If you ever you've seen one in your life, wow. in a football career, oh, I've been telling you, it's a it's a <laughs> yeah, he had an awful day at the office. Wow, he was poor on 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 Sunday. He doesn't have a defensive bone in his body. Oh no, no, no. The thing is, I thought it was bad at United. Yeah, I thought Mourinho was just bullying. What you, you blamed him for the goal we conceded? No, I just feel like for me, you don't even have to be the the reason for a goal. Yeah, I just look at your all because as an offensive player. Yeah. Why? Who was it that did the one-two around him? It was between him and Bellerin, I think. That is a marriage made in hell. 
the two of them on that right side. My God. No, I feel sorry for Bellerin, man. Cause he, I feel sorry he, for Bellerin. Every player that plays on that right wing, it leaves Bellerin out to yeah, dry. Yeah. It just leaves him to dry. Yeah, for real. I think Bellerin's really improved this season as opposed to last year yeah. and the year before. I feel like he's just gone back to the basics. I'll, I'll of, give him that. The thing is, I'll whether he defends that. well, I don't know. But he, he, but that's why I'm not a fan. He, like, he's, I, I, he's, there's more of an effort. He's just better yeah, than what yeah. he's been doing. He's just, he, uh, there's, there's more produce. I, I hear that, Especially attacking, because he wasn't given neither, neither attacking or defence, which is just horrible. Well, he was, was recovery. That's he's it. just literally... Rec- and even then, the last two years, he wasn't really that much recovery. What, that's what he, that was what his first years were like. His first years were like, bloody hell, this guy can track back and tackle and, you know, last-ditch defending, whatever. But then he stopped even doing that and then, you know, started going further forward. In product wasn't that great. But, yeah, no, look at Tyler had an awful day. And it amazed me he stayed on for the full 90 minutes. Like, that absolutely amazed me. I think me. that there are some players where Emery's like, I don't have another option. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave you on the pitch. Because, Frank, he's had one window. Well, I mean, look, there's people like, you know... It's not his team. The Wobi came off. People like, you know... Um, and then Torreira came off, Aubameyang came off. I thought, wow, okay. How Mkhitaryan has remained on that pitch mm. is phenomenal. Mm. It's phenomenal. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Look, we, we got a 2-1 victory. It was hard. Um, but hard in, only because we made it, we made it yeah, difficult. It do, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, I weren't really fearing Bournemouth too tough when the game kicked off. Once we kicked off, I thought, right, okay, we, we're, we're here, we're in it. Because beforehand, I weren't fancying it. Because of last season? Um, no, no, no. It's just because of the form we'd been in. We'd had like four draws in a row or something like that, and I just was not on it. I was like, oh, Bournemouth. Like, Wolves should have taken us apart. You know, we got lucky against Leicester. We got lucky against... No, Everton. someone at Arsenal's paying their time. Yeah, someone's, someone, someone's, someone's meeting with because, God because because honestly, no, it's it's inter- interceded you know? on, on a road. It's, no, it's just, we've, we've, bad, you know? and it, and you know what's funny? I think Chelsea fans would have thought the same about their side, where not necessarily getting away with it, but they haven't been performing as they should. Mm-hmm. And you know, Everton that they, they they played Everton not long ago at Stamford Bridge. That was nil nil. They had I think their game again. I can't remember who they played before that, but again, it wasn't convincing. And just like for us, you know, we hadn't we haven't been convincing yet, but I think we are. Because of the results, 17 unbeaten sounds amazing. But I, I, I bring back to two years ago, we went 19 unbeaten, and that's when it, the car crash for happened. For real, for real. When the car crash absolutely happened, and that's, that's And, 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 and I, think, I, think, I think next month is, is Emery's test. In terms oh, of fortitude, in terms of tenacity, it's horrible. In terms of, in <laughs> terms of like like Don King, the, the, <laughs> game, the, games, <laughs> the games we've got. I mean, you know, you're, you're talking Spurs, then it's United away midweek, then it's on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday, Huddersfield, who've cut, you know, who are in form. Last three games, they've got seven points. That I'm not, look, Huddersfield, you should beat. But my point is, when you've gone to Spurs and Old Trafford, it's a bit like. And okay, are, you, are you playing Old Huddersfield at home? Yeah, Huddersfield's at home, but it's it's that. It's it's the aftermath of what happens at Old Trafford. Yeah. And yeah. Tottenham. How it's you, t- how it's Tottenham and you know, it's Sunday, Wednesday, it's Spurs, United. United yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And United away at that. So yeah. it's a bit like how do we recover from those two? You you you're gonna beat us, by the way. No, Arsenal are they, they what's the word? They're allergic to prosperity at Old Trafford. I hear that. But because you'll beat us at Old Trafford. No, because no matter what United team we've had. What a word. No matter what United team we've had, we don't go there and win. And when United are there for the taking, Arsenal are, not, are, are a team you can't get. Yo, my boy, my, now, boy, my boy, Chief said the same thing. He said, he said we'll beat Tottenham, but then we'll go to Old Trafford and we'll lose. Why? Because even under David Moyes, yeah. when everyone was taking three points David off United, nice. he, he was like Van Persie scored the dumbest header. And just like I mean, the David Moyes one really hurt, yeah, because th- there was a title race on. The one where we went to Old Trafford, scored twice and left with no points. <laughs> That's when I, I gave up <laughs> the on the side. <laughs> no, 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 the free two. The free two. When Rashford, oh, when Rashford oh, made when his it was, debut. It was, it was, it Rashford was, made his name. It was Nursery FC oh, versus, versus Arsenal, Vlad. Man United but how literally took kids out of the academy. Man United had like seven players out. That was ridiculous. And they beat us 3-2. We were playing... We were playing four we, Simons, we just beat Zavie. Leicester. We just beat Leicester that last and that was a hard fought victory. Hard fought yeah. victory. We <laughs> but thought, that's Arsenal. We thought, win, thought that was the league. We thought there and then that is the league. league. Yeah. Because all we gotta do is win our next ten titles finished. <laughs> titles over. No, 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 no. Meanwhile, let's start going out there beating Man City Etienne. <laughs> That's and how I say! Okay, so old traffic gets beat. Oh, like that oh. Morris you split. Morris step oh, over. Oh, oh, man. Oh, you know, oh. got... At that moment, I think you said, you know what, I think they're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, because that, that was, that was majestic. I, I know what you mean. Like, they were in the race, but then they, they, they came to Emirates the following week and lost. 
That's oh. what I didn't understand. Like, we just beat the number one challenger, right? Fair we right. just beat it. We gone to Old Trafford. You know, when they were near the title race that season. <laughs> I think they, they didn't... We finished, even, we finished six, I think. They were nowhere near it, bro. We had to go there with... They had seven players we out. finished fifth, yeah, fifth that year. Seven yeah. first team players we out. Had, we had flipping... I think Herrera, Mata <coughs> and Lingard were the only first team players we had. Bro. Like, sm- good, bro. It was like... Fosu Mensah, Twan Zabi, v- v- Varela... Yeah. Yeah, Rashford. I never, never forget this side. Memphis, Marsh. It was I can't huge. This side. <laughs> I can't forget this side. When when I saw it on the score sheet, you know, Welbeck scored. Urzel squad said, "This is it. Title. Let's bring. Let's take the title back." And then we go and get beat. Yeah, of course. And and Herrera scored a mad. I think it was a mad deflection as well. (laughs) It was. It was. Yeah. But anyway, that that, that frustrated the hell out of me. So when it comes to the Arsenal Old Trafford, look, Emery is. It it almost feels like forget the past. Let's see what Arsenal are like now because all these games that. We would have lost that Bournemouth last week, uh, last season, and of course we did. But even in the circumstance that we were in yesterday, uh, on Sunday, mm. wow. that last minute free kick that Mustafi gives away, there's little things in that game where all, all, you, all it takes is the small margins. You would have thought well, it's a Wenger team again. The only difference is we're actually winning. The home games are a bit interesting because Wenger had great form at home last season and the same thing we are having it this season. Yes, we drew at home to Wolves, I think it was the only home draw, and, and, and Liverpool. So those, those two years, a bit like, and then we lost to City. But other than that, it's been practically the same. The away performances, however, you know, 3-2 at Cardiff looks hilarious, but we easily would have lost that game, you know. Real. Because it Real. Because Emery's come up with an approach of, it's like 30% will watch how you guys do, and we'll adapt to you, but 70% will still be our game. Which is why the second, you're, you're a second-half team. Yeah, suddenly. Right, exactly. Like an team. Exactly. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's like you said, it's a, it's a tough month. I mean, we've got Tottenham twice, we've got United, we've got Liverpool at, at, at Anfield. It's, it's, it's a you, horrible... Are you going to Anfield? Going to, it's like the 20, December, 29th of December or something yeah. like that, just before New Year's. Mm. We've got Southampton away in that time. They'll have a new manager, surely, by then. They will have to. Um, they'll have to. They'll be us this week. Uh, no. No, 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 no Premier League. That's no, not, no that's chance. Not, that's no not chance. chance. That's possible. No chance. That's impossible. By the way, Lindelof's out. Talk no Christmas. way. I saw him holding his calf. S- Smalling and, and Jones incoming. I saw him holding his calf. By the way, just before we go to United, what I love about Bamiyang scored the goal, right? I love it because he did nothing, nothing. else the nothing. entire game. <laughs> he was trash. And, I, and that's something. I, I don't, don't want to go there. I don't want to say he was trash because no, I'll people, be people, people were slating him. Made made people, made no, no, people were slating him and he got no service at all, right? He might have missed like two chances. I think he missed one like, I think he missed before. Yeah, I think he missed like a glorious But you chance. know Aubameyang has to miss before he scores. Like, like, he has like, to no, miss. Aubameyang scores goals. If you give him the ball, he scores goals. He, they said something like, his last 10 shots on target, he's got eight goals. Mm. That's the kind of striker you need to be having at your club. Anyone that wants to win the league, you need a Bamiang and Lacazette of that calibre to be in that side. Because them are a European calibre. Yes. Like, they, they, are, they are made for Europe. Absolutely. I love the fact that a Bamiang is scoring goals that he would have scored at Dortmund. Because you know when you get a player at your club and you just think, oh, I wish I had that version. Yeah, and yeah, you don't yeah. ever get it because he, the Premier yeah. League is so different. But he has done control C. Control my, guy C is, my guy is standard Dortmund. It's six yard box, yeah, yeah, inside yeah. the box finish. He doesn't pet. No. He doesn't pet in front no. of the goal. No. I, I know. don't care how rough and scrappy they are. You go look at Aubameyang's show reel. It's unreal the goals mm. he's scored. 20 goals since he joined Arsenal in 31 games. That's that his record is this season. Nuts. That's his record this season in the league. It's unbelievable. I'm just like. Wow, this is a top. Speaking club. speaking of records in the Premier League, Go on. my striker yes. has scored four and sixteen. Ooh, what? So it's not four and six no more. <coughs> oh, 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 it's not Where four and six no more. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Old Trafford shooting blanks. By the way, his yes. last Old Trafford goal. Do you, oh. you want to know where, where, where it was? Well, Let me think. No, no, Brian, was, was it Newcastle? Do you want to know when it was? Was it Newcastle? Did, did he score against Newcastle? No, it was Martial. Alexis. Pogba? No. Mata? Was it Mata that scored the other one? Who was it Lukaku? No, I don't think so. No, it wasn't Lukaku. I'm thinking of like, has he scored a goal in, at home this season? Has he? Has he scored a goal, a goal at home this season? Has he scored a goal at home? No, he's, he's, scored, against Leic- he's scored against Leicester. <laughs> opening game of the season. Did you play Leicester opening game? Pogba's, Pogba penalty? That 100-yard penalty, Luke yeah. Shaw? And Luke Shaw. Ah, yeah. 
He came in like a So, so right. does anyone want to take a lucky guess? I'm going to go with... Any, 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 of, any of, of, of the members outside of the, the, the immediate pod? Our, ex- our extended pod family? Who did Lukaku score against that? Do you want to know his last home game? Go on. Sevilla. Uh, March it, oh, oh. 2018. Bloody hell. Against who? March? March. Against who? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Bloody hell. March? March. That can't be right. As in the month before April. We're but, 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 but we're in December this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I just want to let you know. You know. No, it's, it's an awful signing. It's just what I said. <laughs> what, what, what I said about Morata. He just came in. I didn't came in. What do you mean? Was, I, was, I, was I pro? How long were you Was saying? I pro Lukaku? I said Lukaku's trash for a time before you said Yeah, it. I just say he's not trash. I just, I, no, I just, he's garbage. I just say he's not trash. He's not ready. He's not Man United level. No, he's garbage. Yeah, he's not level. He's not United level. He's no, he's, he's garbage. He should go back you know, to... You, you know, you know, the, you know the, the water and juice that you leave in like your bins when it goes to the bottom of the bin? That's yeah. harsh. That's, that's Lukaku. That's harsh. Just all that there. Uh, um, Adrian, no, no, for, you know, four and 16? Do you know who needs a striker? Everton. He should go straight back over. No, but there. I think they should be starting Lukeman. I really do. Is he a centre forward? He's a centre forward. Okay. Maybe he was a winger at Charlton. Okay. But then they put him as in he can play centre forward well. And he I should feel go to like, Southampton. He would probably get Southampton. But no, there, please, I'll please, please no. That's that's Southampton that's have like twenty four strikers. Yeah, all score four in sixteen. Like Lukaku does not Manchester United. Like, no, no, honestly, I, I, I really think that with the pace... Hey, by the way, speaking of Everton, like, Andre Gomez has impressed me the last He's nice, years, man. He's tidy. He's, he's tidy, a very bro. good central midfielder. No, he's good, he's good, he's good. He, I, I, he reminds me of, like, what we thought Pogba was going to be consistently. Uh-oh. No, no, in terms <laughs> no, of... Like, no, no, big man thing. Like, yeah. Pogba, Pogba's sick in that, yeah? But I'm not one of those guys that is blinded by the £90 million pound signing. Like the, guy, the guy has had great games. That's fair. The guy has had poor games. That's and fair. one of them was um, on Saturday. Um, did anyone watch it? Because... What, <laughs> because it's, what, what, what it, am I cause, doing that for? Because you, you <coughs> genuinely, genuinely have a more productive day watching paint dry. There was one guy on the... I think it was either the United stand or one of the fan TV things. And he was like, you know, I had six seats next to me empty. He said, I could have no, taken a kick. No, Old Trafford is I bro, it's it's boring. I would have had more times of falling asleep. It's boring, bro. And, and, and you know what? Again, I'm going to blame Mourinho. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think at this point in time, I'm resigned to the fact that we are dead. You're resigned, yeah. I'm, I'm like, okay, cool. Is it apathy? For me? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. That's a hell of indifference, you know. Probably. I, I'm, I'm just like, you know what? There's a team on the other side of Manchester <laughs> to who are playing football. Yeah. And Rant said something um, on... on he, he tweeted something. He said, like, I'm not really with this playing for the shirt business because none of the guys in Man, Man City have any affinity to Manchester. Yeah. They're playing because they're playing football. No, that's true. It's, it is like they're it's playing not, football. It's not a playing for the shirt. Thing, it's not right? a shirt thing. No. Like these men might kiss the badge. The, the legend, the only legends that are there are the. Oh my gosh, who was that? And Newcastle take the lead against uh, Burnley. I predicted Burnley to win this Kieran game. Clark. That's annoying. Kieran Clark. For real, Spearing used to kiss the badge in all sorts. Spearing. Yeah, for real. No, I like, agree. I'm, I'm not with them. I, and, 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 and I, I agree, but, but isn't, isn't it me, different though? Give me quality, because United got the history. City don't. So ain't it a bit different? If I sign for Manchester United. I have to be fit to wear the shirt. True. Not, 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 not these days. No? No, because Man, Man, Manchester wow. United... No, that's I mean, control to say. I, I mean, Van, Van Gaal said it best. He said, Bayern Munich are a football club. Man United do, do care only about money. <laughs> I read it today from even the Manchester Evening News that Mourinho, if he was to go um, at the end... Of, if, if he was to not make Champions League, yeah. I think we pay something like 16 million or something. Yeah. I think that's, that's... So I feel like United will ultimately make a money decision. Yeah, yeah. If the Champions League money doesn't come in, which I, I've, I've said to you guys for the last three pods, we're not making top four. Yeah, I think that we're, we're going to inject some more money in January, yeah. which is ludicrous to me for two reasons. You should have given it to him in the summer. Uh-huh. Number two, if he is going, don't give him any money. Sure, sure. Or do what, do what he did with Mourinho when he got sacked from Chelsea, when we saw him at Dortmund. Yeah. If Zidane is the guy, if you have chosen someone, yeah. let that guy bring in the players that you think he wants. To see what I'm saying. Let that guy bring in plays for the future. If that means Mourinho leaves faster, then that, that, I'm all the better. So, yeah, yeah. so be it. To see what I'm saying. But I, yeah, I feel yeah. like with, with Mourinho, if you're going to... For me, the way I see it is, if you're going to back Mourinho, because he's not going to make top four, yeah. then back him because you're either extend, extending his contract yeah. or because you're getting a new manager in. Yeah. Because at this moment in time, Pete, we're not getting better. 
No. Like, I, I, I was at the shop and I said, man, them, are we beating Palace? Before the game kicked off, I said, man, are, are, are we beating Palace? I, I was amazed that you weren't beating Palace. And, 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 I said, and I said to them, I said, you know what? No, no result will shock me. Yeah. Nothing will shock me. What, Palace win? Bro. And Palace shocking, win, would, would it that's, shock that's, you? That's, it wouldn't shock me. That's shocking. That's shocking. Oh, that's shocking. And they should have. They should have. No, no, bro. Big man team. Big man team. We're, we're a third. Mm. We're a third into the season. How mm. many Man United Old Trafford wins do you remember? No, that's true. Your your home record is what is far away. Like, I was thinking, man, Mourinho just needs to be away from Old Trafford because he does get the wins away, but it's just at home. It's just not. It's just not. Even. If if your top strikers, if you, your your main strikers' last goal was in March at home, there is a massive problem. Yeah. And Mourinho's a stats man. This is this is. This is these are these are the things that accumulate to the reasons why I want him out because I, you're, you're just contradicting yourself. I think he's I think he's I think do you know what though I feel like he's blatantly sabotaging the team because that's what I said to you last time. Because the thing is, you see, like that's what I said to you last time. <laughs> you know he said you said no sabotage is strong. The guy sabotaging like, what, the team. What, what I mean by that is what I mean by that you, like you got the board who are giving people like Smalling new contracts, Young new contracts, mm. Martial new contracts, and yet. For him, he's like, no, no, I need the money for something else. Like, we can't be giving these lot new contracts. It's almost like there are two different teams at Man United. And it, there it, are two, two sets. Yeah, yeah and, and, there, I think, there and I think that, that, that's the ultimate problem there, is that, you know, if they're, not, if they're divided, it's not going to, you know, it, 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 can't, it can't rain, if that makes sense. So house divided cannot stand. So it, it, they need to get some sort of unity across the board. Which they're not going to. I think. I think the board has always been split. Bobby Charlton did not hide his feelings when we signed Mourinho. Yeah, he did not hide it. Yeah, that's you, true. And you saw from their first. So many. Many TV recorded like when he's walking into the ground. Yeah. He's meeting the staff, yeah. and he meets Bobby Charlton, and Bobby Charlton's face is like, "All oh, right, cool." Yeah. He has that very nonchalant, yeah. very relaxed. I don't know. I don't. I can't do anything about this because my boy is gone. Yeah. But so this if this new guy is the guy. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It looks like Trump and Obama, innit? Yeah, he's like, yeah. He's like, okay, During cool. The inauguration, that man shook his hand with his lap. He's like, yeah, I don't, I'm not really a fan, it's, but, you know, it's it's, mad, I, I got to do PR. Is what and and I, I was where Bobby Charlton was, where, where I was like, you know what, I don't like Mourinho, yeah. but let's see what happens. Yeah. First season, you finish sixth, you win two trophies. Cool. Yeah. Second season, you finish second. Okay. Do you think, this season... Do you think they overlooked what happened at Chelsea a bit too quickly? No, I think that they... I think you're right. I think it might have been an overlooking. Or I think Ed Woodward has shown you with three different managers he does not have a plan. Because, because it's three doing. different styles of play. Yeah. It's three different doing. philosophies. Do you see what I'm saying? So so if so my thing is I don't th- I don't know if I- even I thought we were going to be this Where's Galactico fight? Man United? Do you know what I'm saying? Where they would sign Galactico Man United. And Galactico and didn't Di work Maria. for Madrid. Yeah. Why, why is it going to work for us? It, it was in Madrid. I mean, a little bit. What, what did they win? The Champions League. That when? Was when was that? 2002. Oh, <laughs> yeah. But that's what I'm saying. When he, when R9 he... never won the Champions League. He did. Did he not? R9 when, did not win the Champions when, League. When, when did he get there? That's what I'm saying. When, when did he win the Champions when, League? When did he sign? Uh, Put it this way. We he won it in 2002. I thought he joined then. He might be after. Wow. Okay. Hold on. When's the dance squad? When's the dance squad that volume? No, the, the, the Galactic squad was after that. He was Zidane is the original like Madridista. Him and Raul are the original dons. But Figo, no, no, yeah, Figo, yeah, Figo was the first Galactico. No, but Zidane, Zidane was 0-1, no? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. but the, that season yeah. is like 2000. And, does it, isn't it 2002 it ended? Shame. So okay, so the Galactico, if, no, the Galactico yeah, philosophy, philosophy did not work. Mm. Owen Beckham never won a Champions League at Madrid. Yeah, no, that's true. No, so no. so why is it working for us? With a half young squad and half dead players uh, and half sure. that we don't even know about. Because, no, only only because on two things they they had they had. I thought Van Hal was competent enough. Yeah. They got the good. They got the players. You 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 made good signings that year, and it just it, it just needed more time. It's first season. It just needed more time. Van Hal. His first second season was a lot better in the transfer market than the first season. Well, was first season like Darmian? His first season, no, no, second season was Darmian. First season was your Memphis, Schneiderlin, your Blind, and um, Schneiderlin used to play for Manchester United. Yeah. <laughs> How did I forget that? Schneiderlin? Um, um, no, no, I think no, it was, it was, no, that was so. Remember, it was like Di Maria, Falcao, 
Yeah. Yes, the big Cause, four. Cause Van Hal was night. Yes, you're right. Van Hal was our yeah, last year at night. Yeah, he was right. Like, yeah, so he's, so he's like Dimmer. I just think of Mike only. I forget he's Adidas as well. No, he was he was the first Adidas. Yeah. yeah. So for me, Van Hal's second season, in terms of yeah, I'm gas. I was gassed about Falcao and Dimmer, but what did they do? Yeah. They did nothing. Like Dimmer. No, that's true. But like Dimmer, Dimmer had a bigger impact than Falcao, and he was good. But Van Hal kept. After, after about the first half of the season, what I remember is that like he was just switching his position. Yeah. Like a couple of times where it's like, Di is clearly not happy here, or whatever. And everything goes through him. I'm sure you missed it, though. Like when Di Maria would take the ball, all I can picture at Old Trafford, he takes the ball, he just swings no, no, across. No, 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 but what, no, but but what United are, are PhD at, yeah? It was is cool. that what, what United are spectacular at doing is that when we have a new signing, yeah. we let the new signing play by himself. So... De Maria gets, gets, gets the ball. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. You're not even aware that you need to move when he when he yeah, has the ball. Yeah, yeah. And so for me, you look at Lindelof. Yeah. Lindelof is having that spell now, where it's like, oh, he's a new signing, and he's the only one that defends well. All yeah. of a sudden, yeah, he's yeah. the only one. And Man United have this thing where there is no team cohesion with our new signings. Memphis yeah. Memphis struggled with that, Memphis. where it's like he tried. <laughs> You brought him up, right? Did you, yeah, did you see Have it? Have you seen his rap? The thing is, yeah, I want to sit down it's better than properly Lukaku's. and watch it. Of course, better than Lukaku. But that fan of you... Wait, when did man develop an American accent? I don't Who, know. Who, Memphis? No, Lukaku. Lukaku. <laughs> Lukaku's always had an American accent. He's moving, man. Hey, man. Um, yeah, no, that, that, that freestyle from Memphis to Pi, I think... It was all right, you know, I'll be honest. But like, well, Memphis went, rapped before he came to Arsenal. It went back. He had, he had a music back. video before he came to Arsenal. But I, Him, I was Ram, Babble, the, Drenfing. The guy was outside the Alpha Tower with a cigar. I think he was still hanging on it. Mr. Pi. This is <laughs> Mr. Dubai. This is why I can't, I can't, you know, I can't take him seriously. Yeah, right. I bet he's got the talent. He's got all the talent in the world, but, no, but he's bad enough up in, 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 in league. Oh, you know. I just can't take him seriously. He's bad enough. Right. Big fish in small pond. Well, let's see. No, let's see. He needs one more break, one yeah. more game. Uh, sorry, one more signing, and we'll see. Because he, if he performs, if he continues to perform the way he is now at Leon. Some club is going to come for him, right? Like, but, but but apparently, United, apparently yeah. we have a buyback clause. Is that apparently, he's starting. Yeah, Apparently. you do, you do. Yeah, but you the do. thing is, I don't want it, us to sign any player while Mourinho's there. You just, leave, you just want him to get I'm out. Not, I, just, I just want him just out. Get, just get, get out, bro. Out of it. Just get it's, out. It's because even, even even a press conference tonight, before yesterday's game, he, he said that tomorrow's not a must-win game. It's not a crucial game. And I was like, you what, lost, young boys? you've lost your mind. Is you've it because, actually lost is that your because mind. of the victory against Juventus? What is victory it, against Juventus? I think because you turned it round. Bro, so it's, you know, we need three points in the next game. Because there's no guarantee we're beating Valencia. Oh, even if it's just to build. I mean, Valencia, out, even man. Valencia. Valencia are Mickey Mouse at the moment, you know. We, we couldn't beat them with Coquelin on the right wing. <laughs> Coquelin was right wing. Like, no. I mean, did you watch the game, bro? Well, I, I, I watched the Valencia one. That was hilarious, huh? So, my was doing step offers. I, Peter, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like my first ever vision of Coquelin yeah, in the Premier League. Yeah. He was just doing like step overs at Craven Cottage. Like, yeah, like, hella flair about him. Oh, I'm bugging. <laughs> I just remember Cockerland doing step you know overs. Cockerland. I've, I've tapped it into bro, YouTube. He, I can't he, find was, it. he was, he was, <laughs> back then he was Cockerline at one point. But, you know, I, do you know I, what I'm saying? Right. It's, it's like, he, he was, he was, he was a different guy altogether. He got on loan to Charlton. Charlton that's what, that's what, that's what yeah, mean, bro. Um, I don't know if he could make it, you know, I think he did well. He just had it's, that it's amazing how he made it. That yeah. City performance at the Etihad, remember a couple of years ago where he completely... Was it January 2016? That's, that's what he was the Messiah, yeah. bro. Him, him, him and Cazorla. 2015. And I was just like... Finally. Where have you been? <laughs> that kind of thing. We wanted a DM for all for years, yeah, for centuries. For and he then popped out of nowhere. But then again, he, he proved it. I remember I lost it with him. I'll never forget why I lost, I lost it. Was it White Hart Lane? North London yeah, Derby. Yeah, well, yeah, I remember that. And I, and I, I was so that. red with him. <laughs> And I said, that's it, get, I, you're, you're not an Arsenal player. You're not an Arsenal player. Again. And he still survived two more seasons. I'm amazed he survived no, that no, long. No, Wenger is a, is a merciful guy. The guy know. is merciful. He's a no, hold on. But you when, when Wenger is fed up, oh my, he, he sends you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He sends you to club. I remember Quincy Uso Bay, but I've got sent to Spartak Quincy, Moscow. Quincy, you know. Spartak Moscow. I thought, yo, he's, he's, had sent, he's making um, Campbell do Globetrotters. Where's he now? I don't know where he is now. Yeah. I think he's still in your books. Yeah. Carl Jenkinson. Oh, God. This has done Donnie's that lingo. Pascal Segan. Pascal Segan. But anyway, but yeah, so, but yeah, no, Man United, no, it's the same old story. No, 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 the season has been done. The thing is, how do you get, like, how do you watch football anymore? Because, like, no, I, 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 do you? Oh, how, yeah. how do you even watch them across the Why? road? 
It must be. It must be like raw. Can't my club do this? No, because no, because no, because you see me, Adrian. Yeah, Yeah. I've just come to the conclusion that I have to be objective about this. Man United were spoiled for (coughs) years, so right now we're experiencing the pain. The painful thing about the the so-called transition is that we're doing it with top two managers in the world. Mm. Like this is painful with a competent manager. That's why it's painful. Mm. It's because you're meant to be that guy. And and this is the thing. My boy James is a coach. We were talking last week. And I told him this morning, he came to the shop. I said, I still can't wrap my hand around what he told me. He said that not every coach is developmental. That has rattled my brain for three <laughs> days. But bro, let, let, let's, let's, be, let's call a spade a spade. No, Adrian, what, what, that's, what, what, what player has Jose taken from mm. even a six to a seven? No, no. Do you know what it is, yeah? Because he's always had let alone a photo. Because man. he's always had accomplished players. Yeah. The one thing I was interested to see, especially because his first press conference, I think Lampard's the only one. His first press conference, he says, "Look at the names of the players I have blooded in." So I, me being the optimistic person I am, yeah, is assuming that that implies that you have been the reason for their career. Well, I know it's not true, but I want to believe it because. I've had no reason to be invested in Jose Mourinho until now. Yeah, yeah, to be fair. Do you see what I'm saying? I've, n- I've, had, I've never had a reason. So there might be a couple of ones that slipped the radar. Yeah, like, you don't know what. Let's hear man out. But, but let's That's actually it. see what man's saying. Yeah, let's talk about like Ruben De La Red for like 18 minutes. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Ruben De La Red. Like, all of a sudden, tw- it, tw- right? Twitter being what Twitter is, found a picture of Fabinho when we're linked with this Brett. Talking to Mourinho in the, in the Madrid top. Play like one game. So I'm like, blood. Like, okay, cool. Let's see what this guy does. You're giving Martial, you're giving Rashford, you're giving Luke Shaw, you're giving uh, flipping Andreas Pereira, you're giving. Um, God, where's um, he gone? Andreas Pereira, apparently. Gone? And, and, and this, and this for Brian, me, yeah. this for me is when I'll rip my shirt. If I see whoa, Andreas whoa, Pereira whoa, whoa. in an Arsenal top, I will Arsenal. rip. You look, hey, you lot are linked with this brand in January, yeah? And, and it's a legit link. It's a legit link. Like, you, like, apparently his coaches in Brazil have been speaking, saying, yes. The link with Chelsea and, and Arsenal like, is true. Sven, get that signing because, back. Because, I'm saying. Because, I'm, because, I'm, because, <laughs> because this, is what, this is what I don't understand. You made noise about this brand when he went to Valencia, which clearly was against your will. He's come back saying, I love Man United, I want to play for this club. You're not using the Where game. the heck is Andreas Pereira? <laughs> no, I think we're too. Does that make sense? He's still on the south coast. You like, cycle, honestly, bro. You psychopath. Where is he? <coughs> no, you're there saying, oh, man should have gone loan, I want to use him, I've got big plans for him. Man's here. But yeah. McTominay plays more games than him. Yeah, I don't Let's get keep it. it. He'll keep it above. I don't the, get the it. The guy is using Manchester no, United. Jose Mourinho is, 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 is using Manchester United. Jose Mourinho, Mourinho has lost his mind. He's lost his I've nuts. said this for time. I've said this from September. The guy has lost his mind. What did you think about his comments during the week about his players. Oh, don't give me sorry. No, no. Was it, was it, no, because was it as bad as, as the media has made it out to be? You don't need to say it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. What if it, Regardless what if it of your intention or your motives, just don't say it. Was, it was kind of Roy Keane, MUTV-ish, isn't it? Just don't uh, you don't have to say that, that it. I, I swear he left it was so bad he left the club in like yeah, November. He left, yeah, the what Roy Keane did on the was, like, was, like you was, don't have like do you man understand that it's not everything you think you have to say? Yeah. But even if it was talking to Spanish press, don't say, don't say it. <laughs> do they not have translators? They do. They do. No, they do. Are we not in 2018 where man can translate what you're saying? Sure. No, don't say it. Just don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Like he's he, oh, bro, he's no, a he plum. Said, he said no desire, no heart. Okay. Brain. Well, okay. Peter's P- 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 been screaming that as well. To be fair. What's that? Like, yeah, he's screaming that. Because I'm, I'm professional, isn't it? Nah, no, they, they are. Man my, my United, play, the players, they want him sacked. They want him gone. And they're playing like that. Do you that. blame them? Do I blame them? No. But you, you, you how do you, how do you take that check the thing is, every the, the Friday? Thing is, the thing is, the reason. Oh, oh, why is it easy? No, no. As in, how do you take, take that check? check? Bro, the, the check right. is the least of your problems. You take it, you go to Harrods. The check is the least <laughs> of your problems. But Peter, we have to remember, not everybody's as noble and as honest as you. No, nah, it's not even a noble thing. It's just the of it sheer is. dignity. Like sheer dignity. dignity. That's a swear. Pride. Sheer, sheer pride. Dignity. Yeah, bro. <laughs> You know, you know, like, you know about dignity? Type in Winston Borogade, former Chelsea player. Oh, my God. Oh, what? Listen, Bogard. That one. Oh, yeah, what's his name, Bogard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how much of a shambles this guy was? Oh, my God. And the fee he was <laughs> on. He was even a little bit like, He played four games for Chelsea in, in four, four years. years. Dignity is not a word you want to use, mate. But for, but for me, listen, I, the reason why I don't want to say that they're not playing for him is because, is because you will have results like you've had. 
Because I think... And, that, I, and, and don't get me wrong, I don't think we, it was a good performance by any measure. No. But we got the result. Oh, then, then you don't get everything before that. But I think, I, think that was a, I think it was more like the players... It was a it, look. We're in Turin. This this could be our night. Not necessarily a Man United no, no, thing no, or no, a Mourinho no, because, thing. No, because the difference between the difference between like Chelsea and United is that United have won. Like we're not fifteenth in December in November, November December. Mm. We're tenth or mm. eighth or whatever mm. we are. That's why I don't want to call it not playing for it because here and there we've gotten results. I mean, but Chelsea was bad. You're worse than <laughs> where, where you are with David Moyes at this point in the season. One hundred percent. In terms of points what, as well. But is that there. difficult? When do you decide? Well, David Moyes. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you because you didn't watch the game. Yeah. How the game went. Which so we kick off. Nice one. Yeah. So we kick yeah. off by starting Lukaku up top. Well, Let's not begin. For you, for you. Oh, for me, we've lost the game. Like Lukaku starts, but we've lost the game. You can't. You can't win. No, because he's dead. He well, let's think about like where is he? Andy Carroll. Like, no, no, no. Adrian, he, Adrian. You, you might saw the video of him trying to control the ball. That touch. No, come on, guys. He set Palace on an attack. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like it came to, it's like you know when someone's cheering for the ball, it's like he's no, gonna take guys, it and it happen. No guys, it's at this moment in time, it's I don't have an agenda anymore. You know, you yeah, can no, clearly we're, see we're seeing, we're here to you see. can clearly see how he is atrocious. No, he's garbage. They got it wrong. Wow! They you know, got it so wrong. Oh look at you dead! Oh. <laughs> the more I think about it, yeah, the guy had twenty passes that game. <laughs> twenty He's bad. Listen, so so I saw. He just needs another club. Like (laughs) so, I saw. I saw four two three one. Now Jose, we haven't played four two three one since when? Cool, cool. Cool. So so I I think we even played three three midfield. It was Matic, Pogba, and Fred. Yeah. So you've played four two three one. No, no, no. I'm talking Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Like Pogba, like Zlatan, Bournemouth. Oh my gosh! Forty three first game of the season. Yeah, because yeah, remember when wow. we played it? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it was like we need to free Pogba, and then they kind of did. No, no, because <laughs> listen, listen. At this moment in time, yeah, this free Pogba thing. The reason why it's hilarious is because Pogba doesn't need freeing. Pogba needs to understand. Pogba needs to know that the two midfielders he has next to him are competent enough to keep the ball. And are the same two week in week and out. And the, the same two week in week out. So you played Pogba in a two man in a two man um. What's it called? Pivot, yeah? Yeah. Of him and Matic. Yeah. Matic, who, by the way, is the snailiest. <coughs> yeah. And Fellaini started. He didn't, he didn't start. Oh, he didn't start. He didn't start. Okay, it, was, like, it, was, it, was, it was It was, it was Lukaku, three attacking midfielders of Martial, Mata and Lingard. Then it was Matic, Pogba. On paper, that's not bad, you know. On paper, it's not bad if you have if if you're playing FIFA. If you just put Mourinho behind it, then then it's a different story. If you're, play, if, yeah. if you're playing if you're playing FIFA and you've got Lukaku, I heard he's even bad on FIFA. But if you're playing if you're playing Who, Lukaku, yeah, Man. I heard he's trash. But, no, but it looks different. Like he can't run no more. No, the guy's putting weight. Whether it's muscle. Yeah, I mean, we saw that video of him eating food. No, he's no, 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 Alex Ferguson would have won Crystal Palace with, mm-hmm. yeah, Comfy too. David Moyes would have. Dave, David Moyes would have would have been Crystal Palace with, yeah. yeah. Now let me give you an interesting stat. Yeah. yeah. So we are supposedly, allegedly, a crossing team. Do you know who had the most crosses in the game? Who? Ashley Young. Oh, Young. Yeah. Our our our, our, ca- our captain apparently. Yeah. Captain. Yeah. How is so he, he the crossed captain? the ball. No, you know. He crossed the ball eleven times. Yeah. How many times did he hit the target? Two. None. None. Wow. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. wait. What was hit the target? As in, hit, no, hit a man or deliver a no, ball? No, hit. No, hit a body. Oh, Young never touched the body. I well, thought you Young's the... crossing did not wow. touch a body. So did it hit, hit beat the first man? Attempts. Bro, no, it just pretty went. Oh, it just <laughs> went over. Just so, went. so wow. either went. or, either or. So, wow. you, so you're dealing with a guy who so. Mourinho has played right wing back since West Ham, but people want to tell me Ash Young can cross. Because they remember eight two against Arsenal. Mm. I was sick that game. Yeah. <laughs> so this he is your guy, yeah. That game. Diego Diogo D- Dalo is fit. Valencia is fit. I'm not saying they can cross. Dalo can, but I'm not saying they can cross. But 
you're you're trying to you're trying to build a team that can play fluid attacking football. Why do you play odd balls in the team that remove the ability and the flair to play fluid football? Mm. So, for example, you you I told you guys, let's see Suarez uh, Sanchez for five games. We didn't even get five, no, but cool. You won't. You saw Sanchez against Bournemouth. You saw Sanchez against Juve. You, you saw Sanchez against Everton. Look how fluid we were. Now you resort back to, you know, Mr. M- M- Mr. Lukaku Bizarre. up top Bizarre. against against Crystal Palace. I'm not saying it was just his fault. No. I think Martial had a poor game. <coughs> I think Pogba had a poor game. He hit the nail in the head. It was the phrase he used. The phrase oddballs. That's what it is. Like it's like there's no synergy. There's no there's cohesion. No, cohesion. Like, it's, it's no nothing. one knows what they're doing. Because when they, I watch Liverpool, it's like there's what, certain yeah. things I know. Yeah. When Van Dijk gets the ball, I know Alexander Arnold is making the run for the Diag. When when money when money's got the ball and when he's like on the edge of the box and he yeah. slows down, yeah. he's waiting for Robertson to come with exactly. the overlap overlap and burst the gun putting the ball. Do you know why that is, Adrian? Because they play together. There are relationships on the pitch. Yeah. Gomez That's and Van Dijk are tight. I look at it, you know how it's like. Because one week you're gonna play Mata at ten and you're gonna play Lukaku. The next week you're gonna play Mata at right God. wing and Sanchez at Bro, then like, Rashford another and, week. And this, and this is the thing, yeah. Fred another this week. is a man who earns fifteen million a year. No, guys, this is like Man United are, bro. We are dire yeah. right now. Yeah, it's bad. bad. But so bad. I'm resigned to watching City battle West Ham four <laughs> nil, and Pep, and Pep Guardiola have the guts to say they didn't play well. Yeah, I was vicarious. Like, when I saw that, I was like, like wow. I was happy with the performance because, and I understood what he was saying. Cause I saw some sloppy passing in the, in the, the move, but bro, so, so a bad a, a bad day in the office, according yeah. to Pep, is four nil. It should have been five and six, and that's not even the exact. This is what I'm saying. So I feel like I am done yeah. with United this season until. <laughs> no, I told you, man. I've been watching more City God, games since February. I don't know how you do it. Because if I'm. Like, I remember when, when the season was. I don't know if, what season it was. I think it was even last season. The season when it was over F1. for me. It, it was a, it was a, the thing is, F1 ended as well. Damn. I, was, I, I was screwed. <laughs> like, I was literally <laughs> NFL, NBA. That's, that's, that's what I was resulting to. Like I remember, and I just didn't watch for I, like I didn't watch match of the day for weeks. Oh, bro, that's the one. Yeah, for weeks. I signed out. When I stopped watching match of the day, you know my season finished, you, you, and I hadn't watched do, it. Do, 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 you know how, do you know how bad it was this this weekend? No. I was watching the Sunday replay of match of the day, thinking, bro, where's Man United? Bro, where's Man United? Because I saw Fulham, Southampton. <laughs> I saw Chelsea, Tottenham. Yeah. I saw Leicester. Yeah. Leicester was a dead game. And I'm like, Yo, hold on. So yeah, I went. I, fo- yeah, I fast. Yeah. I fast forwarded to the last ten minutes of match of the day. Yeah. Um, Crystal Palace. The last time they won at Old Trafford <laughs> was before this man was around. I was talking about Ian Wright. And I'm like, are we the last game on a Saturday? You, you know, know, you know after Burnley, it's too bad, and then they bring you on after. After what's coming on Five Live and stuff like that, and then they bring you in after. Bad. Oh, they do the NFL pre-show. Yeah, yeah. They tell no, you because, no, because NFL now I, I, even Alan Shearer is like, what is there to say that we haven't said before? Yeah. It's become Same that. Thing. That's the thing. We'll be, we'll be like this till the end of the season. United won't sack Mourinho now because obviously a money thing. They will have to pay far too much money for Mourinho. At the same time, they don't know what they'll get in. At the same time... It's, 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 there, there's nothing more to say. So for me, as a football fan, I will carry on watching Napoli, Atletico Madrid, even though they're dead as well. I, I watched, I watched the, 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 Barca the, the Barca game and I was like, how do you coach like this? Well... That's the thing. They like, these men were just, like, trying to stop Barcelona from passing. That's, but that's what they've, and that's what like, they've done for years. And, and, then, and then, I yeah, thought... to be fair. And and then, is, no, as in, you know what? They know what's sad about Atletico Madrid. Here's, okay, here's a bit of criticism for them. What's sad is they've got the players where they can actually really show you some good football. Mm-hmm. They, and they have they Rodrigo, do, and they Coke, do, and, and Sal Niggas. And they do not. Bro, the they go there and for starters, stink every for game. Just for start. Every game they go there and stink. They just stink every game And I watch this game thinking... Bro, this is Atletico, isn't it? Like, this is like Diego a, Simeone. And, like, I'm seeing Felipe Luis, and he's just like, the guy's just on, on, a, on a beef team from the beginning. That's why, that, you know, that's you why know? he worked with Mourinho. Because he, he, he this, yeah. went there one year, titles, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, moves on. So, yeah. for me... So, like, you know, it's them ones where people, when people scream, oh, I want Simeone, Simeone, bro. Like, if you're, if you're down for that, Fine, fair enough. If it's a case of, you know, you just want to stop the bleeding of losing games. You, you know what it is? I feel like Simeone would actually play... Because I feel like outside of the possession teams that he plays, yeah. 
they play decent football when it comes to. They're a great counter attacking. They're very good counter attacking. They adapt to, to to their surroundings. You know, but uh, there is a bit more flair with it when it comes to them versus a Mourinho team. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because Mourinho can stink out 50, 90 <sighs> minutes. You're telling me. He has to do it. But anyway, yeah, to close it, because I've been talking too much. Severe like, top of the we, league in La Liga, by the way. We, like, I'm, I'm resigned to just watch I'm, I enjoy What's watching Man City. like Deportivo? It's like a four. funny team. And, uh, like, I, I, I enjoy watching Man City. I've got to check that. I even watch, you don't need to watch the Barcelona movie. The Take Which the Ball, one? Pass the Ball. Take the Ball, Pass the Ball. Oh, for sick. I watched it on Sunday. I've like, so many movies now. I've watched it Sunday. twice, and I'm like, no, these these lot were on a different level. Take the ball past. Yeah, it was yeah. sick, man. Good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'll watch United. I'll hit that. I just want to see. I just want to just like you know when like it comes to the end of the season. Yeah. I have ample reason why I want this guy out. Yeah. So I just want. I just want to keep on watching to see. I said go to catalog. Yeah, more, because more, because more, more. yeah, yeah because what, what would you do if Man United kept Mourinho on for another season? What can you do? I think I'd stop watching Man United. Okay. Because, <coughs> because then it shows me, then it really shows me that Woodward doesn't have a plan. Yeah. Like Woodward does not have a plan. Boy, because, because you need a football man though. You need to get a football man in there. He, well, again, I, 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 I was even telling, I was even telling Ivy today. Who is it? The, the bigger problem is, is, is what's happening upstairs. I want Mourinho up because you have players you don't play. Like that for me is fundamentally why I want him sacked. Because... Like yeah, that, is, that Pereira talk is, is real, man. Is er, oh, Pereira will be a serious player for Unai Emery if he goes. Just to replace Ramsey and all that nonsense, blood. Like, yeah, man. and and by the way, this is a, this is a guy who plays <coughs> number ten, who plays on who played on either wing for Valencia. Yeah. But because Jose said, "I have too many of those," he said, "You know what? I want to play for Man United, so boss, I'll play anywhere." Hungry. Play DM the whole of preseason. Just to get a gig. Yeah, yeah. Just to get a gig. Yeah. You know what it was? And he was sick in preseason. Sick was against it, Leicester. Was it him and him and Pogba and Fred against Brighton? Leicester? Oh, okay, Leicester. I was thinking I against think, Brighton. I think Brighton Matic was there. I think Matic was there. I think it was. I know Fred was there. I'm, I'm assuming Pogba. Was I there, think but I'm you know what? You might be right. You know. I'm assuming you Pogba might be right there, because yeah, because I remember Pogba played. I remember he gave the ball to Lukaku. Lukaku decided to miss. Yeah. I remember Fred was there. Nothing Fred, there. Fred was trying to put out fires. It didn't work. You felt sorry for him that game. I felt so sorry for Fred that himself. game, man. Um, so yeah, for me, I'm like, listen, the problems are bigger than Mourinho, yeah. but the problems on the pitch are all Mourinho. <laughs> all of them are Mourinho. May um, the saga continue. Trust me, man. I tell you what, you, you'll beat us against. You'll beat Arsenal at Old Trafford. But you? again, being Arsenal for me does not make my my, my year. <laughs> it won't change anything <laughs> for you, no. <laughs> because it's not. like we beat Arsenal last year. But so if you, if you and all the goals, all the goals, away. all the goals that Lacazette missed last season, he will score. Home and away. He, he'll score at Old Trafford this time. So yeah. we'll see. Anyway, cool. Liverpool. Yeah, bro. Got got the three points at uh, Vicarage Road. I mean, you didn't have a shot on goal until half time. Like you know, I was, I was looking at the stats of this game, and it was just it, I, I was looking for shots. There was no shots on either side. No shots in like the first thirty minutes, forty minutes. I thought that's a boring game, but you turned on the sprinklers and 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 away you off. Um. Comfortable? Was it good? <coughs> I think this game sort of epitomised the new look Liverpool, I'd call it. The Whereas I feel like, I, I don't know, what, I don't know the reason. I don't know, maybe, maybe we haven't been able to perform at the same sort of swashbuckling level. Yeah. Maybe a young crop within himself has realised it's not sustainable for the, throughout the full course the of the season. season. You know, maybe World Cup, you know, based on World Cup fatigue, you know, players have played like a whole year of football, maybe sure. clubs fought to switch it up, I don't know what it is, sure. but I feel like Liverpool have become <coughs> a lot more sort of sensible, you yeah. know, we don't mind playing the long game, we don't mind, you know, switching it from left to right and from right to left, we don't mind, you know, tiring teams out because essentially... That's kind of what happened. Yeah, you know, what, what feels got tired? The goals know? came thick and fast, didn't they, between between each other as well, because I remember just flashing and I was like, bloody hell, one nil, okay, cool. Then I saw three nil, I thought, oh, bloody hell, that was done. Um... But yeah, you know, this time around you didn't concede three, which is, which is, yeah. I'm sure you're very delighted about that, as opposed to last season when it was the free all draw. Um, and, and again, that adds kudos to the whole idea. I feel like you know Jurgen Klopp has understood the nature of the beast that is the Premier League, and he knows, bro, you can't have a shot. We'll have a shot. You have a shot. We have a shot. Because you're gonna concede goals. Yeah. You're not gonna win all the time. Sometimes you just <coughs> need to make sure you're solid at the back, yeah. have a solid foundation, and then from then on. 
you can actually press on and you know allow your attacking players to attack because you know I think an interesting thing that Ed McClough has done as well he's gone from a 4-3-3 that he yeah. typically plays to a 4-2-3-1 and it's essentially sort of you know has like his two defensive midfielders acting yeah. as like a buffer yeah. and then he tells Firmino, Salah, Shakiri, Mane go out go play go create go express yourself because what Shakiri's done he was essentially meant to be like a backup player yeah but he's been so good like clock can't he's ignore him and like, yeah he's, he's bust the door down open who's he replaced one of one of the midfielders. Ronaldo, okay. Fair so right. so now so on Saturday we play Ronaldo Henderson. Yeah. Whereas you know at the start of the season would have been like Ronaldo Henderson Cater. Yeah. So yeah. essentially yeah. Fair enough. Um, big game for you on Wednesday. Um, at PSG. Is it make or break this game? Oh, it's make or break because if especially we, because of it, what happened at Red Star. Yeah, because if we lose this game, then it's making it very very difficult. But at the moment, do you see yourselves coming out of that group? Or are we seeing Liverpool in Europa League football? As of <sighs> bro, year? listen, if if we don't if we don't come out of this group, please let us finish fourth. Yeah, it's it's them ones, isn't it? Tottenham must be thinking the same thing. Mm. And, yeah, and and again, for me, out. for me, bro. <coughs> honestly, honestly, I'm 23 years of age. <laughs> Liverpool have won the league since 1990. I'm, trying, I'm, I'm trying to make it happen. That's all. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to see at least one. That's at all least all one. See the ones. But, yeah. um, but, Gosh, um, but it's, it's tight in your group. Napoli six points, Liverpool six points, PSG five, Red Star four. I mean, how you're giving Red Star four points is like, is beyond me. How we giving how we giving them a single goal? Yeah, which is incredible. Just unreal. But yeah, I, 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 Alice have got pounds for that one. I said, go on. Speaking of Alisson, yeah, yeah, I sort of I said let me give it like three months. Yeah, yeah. I've come to the conclusion <coughs> he's he's not all that, you know. He's not. He's solid. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. I feel safe <coughs> with him. He's, he's not up at echelon. But you know what? That's the, that's the but important 67 thing. million quid worth of keeper. He's, he's not that. No. But he's but, very, very good. But like you said, he, you're safe with him. Yeah. That's the most important thing to having a goalkeeper. Big man too. Because at the same time, you know, I feel a bit safe with Leno. And in the same vein that, you know, of course, I just feel safe with De Gea. Who? De Gea. Who? You feel safe with De Gea. He's got a PSG, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's you're, the, not, you're not laughing. What's but, the PSG talk about? On a you not be well. surprised... If you see David De Gea wearing a fly Emirates. In La, La Paris. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think... <laughs> no, but he just wants to win stuff. Why not? He just thought, screw it. You've got to ruin my blessing with Real Madrid. It's a nice time to just get it moving. But, um, yeah, look, looking at the table, yeah. That's looking tough, man. What? That is looking... That, your group stage table. Because I'm just looking at it. Well, now, it's tough, but, the, the, you know, the... Um... You our destiny is in our own hands. If we win our next two games, we qualify. But you have to win at PSG and beat Napoli at home. Why, why can't we? <sighs> Tough, I know, but why can't we? I don't know, because a poor PSG, they still put you to 3 2. That, that, that was a game that could have gone either way at the end of the day. And Napoli gave you a lot of lesson at, 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 at uh, the end. That's a lesson I'll never forget. <laughs> that, that, that just reminds me of, of, of Kenny Dalglish, bro, of Amory Hodgson. Them nasty days out. Do you know that the top goal scorer in the Champions League right now is from best Red Star Belgrade? Please. His name is El Fadu Mohamed Ben Nabu. Hain. There we go. Who the hell is that? Hell. Well, probably a guy that put some goals past you. Or the... He never scored against us. I'm sure he did. No, no, the guy that scored against us was some, some one brother. That was his name. That's the one brother. <laughs> yeah. Who's but... that? I don't know, mate. I don't know. That's interesting. Is it Pavlovka or Pavlovka or whatever his name is? No. That I scored for him. Because I remember th- th- there was a guy who scored twice against us. Unless that's his extended name. Unless that's just him. But, um... like, well, bro, but the electrician? Yeah, the electrician. That, said the electrician. That's not what his name was, it? Man said the electrician. Nah, that wasn't his name. Alright, that's what I'm saying. How funny that is, the electrician. Um, yeah, Pavkov. It's Pavkov, that's Pavkov. his name. Yeah, Pavkov. Oh, so the same guy? No, yeah. I don't think it is. So, so, so I was man saying Mohammed Ben... Well, he's the top goal scorer, that is. When I heard Ben, when I heard ben Yeda, I was like, yeah. Ben F. Um... But anyway, yeah, no. So it's, it's a it's a big fish to fry this week, and and and, and then the Merseyside derby. I'll, I'll be honest with you, bro. Yes. The, for me, the Merseyside derby is the biggest fish we can fry this week. Are you serious? I'm on the. But I don't think you understand. The league is over. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, bro. Listen, the I, league's over. I ended the day. When Adrian says, "Ah," oh? <laughs> he hurts <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he just can't comprehend. <laughs> no, bro, bro. The league's done. Bro. Listen, the league's over. Listen, at the end of the day, right? Yeah. All, all we can do is win all of our games. Oh, flipping heck. Uh, Sam Vokes pulls on back for Barella. Um like because because like literally like we're we're the underdogs yeah. right now, so 
us being a couple points behind City, it suits us because if, if, if we're ahead of City, City will catch us. But right <laughs> now, what kind of doubt? How many points are you behind City? Two. Okay, so it's it's, it's still there. Oh, the, the league's done. No, it's, listen, listen, listen. Until until it's done, I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be optimistic. But we're in November. If the league's done for me, what am I doing? <laughs> but, the league, <laughs> but the league was on November last year. <laughs> but I had a miserable time just, last year. You just need to make sure you make top four. But no, right now, right now, right, 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 right now, we're doing Colombo. See, I'm trying to shake us off. When they turn left, <laughs> we're left. When they turn right, we're right. And we're one there, tell, bro. Listen, mate, just think about finishing top four. That's what you need to concern yourself. Nah, bro, not when we spent £67 million on the keeper, £100 million on two million. Because the thing is, Adrian, Adrian's thinking about the banner that's going to come in May. Fam. There's a, there's, the is, there's, a, there's a wave of banner coming up. Do you know what it is? I, I, no, I think he's counting the cost. He's thinking, after all this push... You have to count it. To then finish second. <laughs> no, no, no. Third. As I said before... Man City are probably the best Premier League side we've ever seen. It, 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 it's, it's no, it's, there's no shame in losing to them. But let's at least make it a competition. Yeah. Can't be, what, 20-odd points? What, 19 points on the league by last man, season? Yeah. That's just, like, if, if it's like, you know what? We push them, we scratch, we claw, we're six points off, hold yeah. my hands up. You know what? The best team in the country won the Premier League. Yeah, yeah. I can't really argue with that. Yeah, yeah. But let's at least get to that point. You can't have a double-figure gap. Is that, is that <laughs> yeah. what it is? Yeah, it's as simple as that. <laughs> if, even if it's nine points, you say you're not a fight, I'll take nine man. points. Take it. Take it off because, bro, they've got a flipping. Um, well, I, I saw Sonny. Sonny had played what most of the season. He's coming now, yeah. Bank to calm, calm. Mares is coming off the bench. What's interesting million. is you that they, they, start they have game. injuries, City, and they don't look like they missed them at all. What injuries? What the Brunson didn't play, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, Mendy didn't gone. miss him. Mendy's but Fab- Fabian Delph didn't miss him. Yeah, no, it's true, it's absolutely true. Um, because, bro, if, if we got a single injury, yeah. By the way, can, can I just give a shout out to, yeah, to a, couple, a couple guys? Yeah, of course. Because there's one guy who I feel like he's young and he's going to have bad days. And yeah. he's also, he's got talent, so he's going to have very good days. And yeah. I just want to give a big shout out to Mr. Trent Alexander Arnold because. Um, Great free kick. Because what, there's something Gary Neville said that was very interesting, actually. And, and, he, and he's, I think the question they asked them was is it harder or more difficult as a young player to come through the ranks at your club? And then he gave two examples. He gave the example. He gave, he gave three examples. He gave the examples of Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial. Yeah. How like obviously like the United fans are more accepting yeah. and more forgiven towards Rashford than they are to Martial. Yeah. Basically because he's the um, he's a young boy coming through. Yeah. And then he also said something to the effect of look at Gomez and Van Dijk. Yeah. How we've seen what a twenty seven year old Virgil Van Dijk looks like. Yeah. He's made all of his mistakes at Granada and at Celtic yeah, and whatever. Yeah, yeah. He say he's the real McCoy. I listen to that. And, yeah. we look, and we look at like a young Joe Gomez, where it's like he's twenty. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna see his mistakes. Like I remember the Arsenal game where he literally let you know Sanchez ghost past him. Yeah. Yeah. So I just um. And that free all. Yeah, and I, and I feel like Jurgen Klopp is allowing these young players to develop. Yes. Stephen issues. They're remember, gonna they're gonna make the mistakes, but I remember Gomez playing at the Emirates at left back. Two seat when, when you had Rogers still. He, he was good though in that period of time. And I couldn't good. understand why we didn't attack him because I, I'd never heard of this guy. When you read it on paper, you think he's a Spaniard. Yeah. So when I saw him, oh, oh, hey, oh, I, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, I saw him. I thought that right, Alexis, Aaron Ramsey, Özil, target him, and, and they never touched him. And he, the, and he, he had a good performance. The only game he got touched was the United game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that one. Yeah, and then he got, he got injured for like the rest of the season. A couple yeah. of games after that, I never saw him. No, yeah, yeah, but it's, 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 it's really it's, it's beautiful to actually see no, young, big up trend, man. young players developing. It's good to see young talent come through. Yeah, it is man. good. It's refreshing to see. Must be said. Um, skim through some some games here. Uh, and I was gonna say, to, to, sorry yeah. to, to end it, no, but no. I, I rate I rate Klopp's patience with him. Like, Klopp, does he have much choice? With um, it, with I, I, I think I think I think for sixty seven million on a goalkeeper and fifty plus million on Cater, you could have easily spent money on a right back. Mm-hmm. You could have, but what if there was no money in the pot left? And what was essential? Because essentially, I think, I think I think Liverpool needed a right back. You know? I, I, think, I think midfield I think, was more important. I, th- I think we needed a centre, a centre half. I genuinely believe we needed yeah. a centre oh, of half. Course. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Joe yeah. Gomez is like, if 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 we spend forty million on Joe Gomez and give him these performances, yeah. is that money well spent? I think so, personally. Mm, mm. So he, Joe Gomez he's is the, sick. He's, 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 he's going to be sighting, man. He's going to be sighting. He's the real deal, man. He's 21. He can defend. He's 21 years 21. Of age. Yeah. But this guy made his debut for, for them at 18. At youth age, like 18 again at the Emirates, bro. No, no, no. I started the season left back away at Stoke. Oh, was that the first, first game wow. of the season? Is it? But continuous going to score the wonder goal. I remember, I remember him at the, at the Emirates thinking, just target this guy. Um, but anyway. Quickly run through West Ham nil, West Man City four. 
Look, West Ham haven't learned, have they? They, they haven't learned how to play against Manchester City because they are falling for them every it's, it's single the aggregate, time. It's like 18-1 on aggregate. Yeah, is it, say, yeah, 17 one or something? I mean, look, if, 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 know, their last whatever game it's it was, right? What's wrong? Man? It's, just, it's not even funny, bro. Their last, like, the last game they played in April was 4-1 Man City, 2-1 Man City, 4-0 Man City, 3-1 Man City. Then they had a two-all draw. And then, and then that's when they actually started winning. But my God, because I think they, they, it's not counting like the League Cup games and stuff like that, where they were given six and stuff. And it was 9-0 on, on, on aggregate, one, one of the League Cup they, they finals. Do they, they, they just don't learn. They don't learn how to play against Is it side. they don't learn or is it... They haven't learned, bruv, because they've, like, they've always got piped, though. Yeah. Like, nothing's changed. Lose 1-0, no, no, lose 2-1. No, 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 City are, like, City are... West Ham ain't trying. Scary, now, West Ham ain't trying. Because the thing, no. West Ham, West Ham turned up to the game. Let's play our football against Man City and have done for the last. No, four, but years. no, but no, but can we just like <coughs> City are sick, blood. They are, but you don't. You have, saw what they did to us. They don't have to get. But the thing is, I, I don't know, man. Man, West Ham. Look, I, I don't. I don't want to pick on West Ham in it. In case people think I do, I don't want to pick on them. But it's. <coughs> You I think you are, blood, because they, they beat they beat Tottenham one 0 It's like six times though that against City. No, because I'm talking about them against City. No, as, City. In, as, in, as in Tottenham tried, it's continuous and coming, still though, lost. It? Tottenham tried to to, to to press and to defend like they did against Chelsea, and they still lost. But the the defeats are not respectable. West Ham are terrible though. But the defeats are not respectable. West Ham have Issa Diop, who just came from Toulouse. Yeah, Masuaku, Declan Rice, Mark Noble. Should I carry on? Balbuena. Like honestly, but then, but then they're go bad. To, but then go to Ever- like, go to Everton. Paraguay, by the way. Go to yeah, at twenty-seven years of age. Then then go to you know then go to Everton and win three one there. No, but you're not beating C. Yeah, but no, but that's no, a, that's a fact though. Make it respectable. Is what What's I'm respectable from for, for West Ham? Look, Guardiola said he wasn't happy with the performance and they won four 0 That tells you that sums up what West Ham. If were you're like. Mark Noble, do you think that's that sums up what West Ham were like? Like, do you think, let, me, let me go. Let me go to the start eleven. Don't get me wrong. I know Pep's, a piss, I know Pep's a perfectionist, yeah. Yeah. But do you think like that? That was more so just to send shivers coursing down the spines of all of his rivals. I mean, it made us. It made us feel like, oh, my do you know God, what I'm saying? Pep's that guy. Um, Cause, so, cause, so don't I, get me wrong. Obviously, I guess. I guess why I was annoyed in the fact like I saw Antonio hitting the post and stuff like that. Yeah. But do you think like, maybe? <coughs> let me find this. this yeah, I'm not saying I'm, they didn't I'm try. Pep understands it was it was a very good performance. There is a golfing class between the two sides. I'm not saying they didn't try. But it, it's Pablo like Pablo Zabaleta. It's like come against on, against Leroy Sané. But it is a bit like no, come Pete, on. this is dead. Come on, like. Pedro Obiang, Mikel Antonio, Grady Diango. Who is that? Well. Grady who? Diango. No. He oh. plays for England. Who the hell is that? Bro, oh. what on the bench? I don't know who that. He, he came on fifty-fifth minute. Marco Arnautovic. So, there was a U that scored two in the League Cup. For the, listen, yeah. listen, Marco Arnautovic is an agent. Like when you have a Congolese guy in your back four, it says everything. Masuaku? Yeah. Blood. Listen, it's long, bro. Anyway. All right, fine. Um, let me go forward. Anyway, yeah, so City, whatever. Uh, Fulham three, Southampton two. <laughs> Good to see Dilly Dong, Dilly... Dilly what? I don't know what he says. Dilly Dong, Dilly, whatever. Anyway, it's good to see him back. Tinker Man. The Tinker Man. By the way, City City had a thousand and seven touches of the ball. And in in comparison, how many did West Ham have? 517. You counted that. They had 839 passes. In 90 minutes of football. Guys, this is disgusting. City up, bruv. Nah, man. <laughs> nah. West Ham didn't lay a glove on them. It was, bro, it was not they had one shot on target. Not, not a glove was laid. <laughs> they both had nine shots, yeah. One of them had one shot on target. The other one had six. <laughs> Pete, come on, man. Fulham three, Southampton two. That was a good game. Big up Ranieri, back in the... Shout out to you know Sessie. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy Fulham, you know. I'm going to enjoy Fulham under Ranieri. They've got players. Because they attack. Like, the way they attacked against Southampton, they really... I said in detail that Chelsea need to watch out for Mitrovic, <coughs> man. Top top striker. I think he's really good. Do you, well, would you go as far as what Mr. Ranieri said? What did he say? He's one of the best in Europe. Yeah. No. It's, it's still be? potential, but he's twenty five. You know, we're, we're talking about somebody now 
he was at Anderlecht scoring three free goals against Arsenal in the Champions League like, <laughs> at 21. So you knew that this guy was going to be something special. I mean, if Arsenal were bad, so was Van der Boer that day. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Van der Boer, I remember him. He was Van meant to be Van der Boer, I mean, he was meant to be so you know, But Mitrovic was meant to be somebody else up and coming for, for years. Yeah. But he still hasn't hit that. You know, Newcastle could do with a striker. And you'd think, ah, they're getting rid of him. But I hope to see... A, a Vardy-ish kind of player out of Mitrovic from, from Ranieri this year. I'd, I'd, I'd hope to see it. I hope he does. Well, he just banks 20. Mark Hughes needs to go. I mean, he's uh, got about seven, I think. Seven or five. Seven, that. So, yeah, about that. Uh, Mark Hughes needs to go. So the sooner that happens, then sometimes he can stay in the Premier League. Sparky. Because if, he's, if he remains in, in charge, he, he needs to go down. He's, he's the, not going to, though. The fact that it was a six-pointer and they lost 3-2, and in the circumstance they lost that third goal in, it's just... It was like... But bro, I can't blame Mark Hughes for that, man. I'm forgiving. No, he, he picks them. So, yeah, I blame him. No, but it's like I'm a football manager, right? Did you did you see what Wesley was in the Hoyt? Hoyt, Hoyt, yeah. Did you see what he did? Yeah, I saw what he did. I was trying to. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Oh, man, I was literally by like the corner flag. Listen, Cessignon won, won the header in the penalty area. Why is Cessignon? Like a five foot six, eighteen year old. Like four foot ten, and he won a header. It was so much. A, a leprechaun. Oh god, it was That's unreal. Right. Everton won Cardiff nil. Didn't see. I don't uh, know. Sigurdsson, yeah. Whatever. Uh, and Brighton won, Leicester won. I thought Leicester would win that game. Mm-hmm. I thought Leicester... I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I put a prediction of 1-0 on this because I just didn't think... I just couldn't... I can't predict Leicester away from home. And Brighton at home, they just don't seem to get beat. So, I left it at that. Wolves nil, Huddersfield 2. My my thing, my thing, thoughts on Wolves, I've already said to you, I don't like them because they just take the teams around them not seriously enough. And mm, they, that's they, just, true. they just show up against a big lot. They think they've arrived, and they get they were getting moved to by Huddersfield. By the way, it wasn't just a two nil thing. They got moved to. By. I heard. I heard they got bopped. Aaron like Boy, yeah, Huddersfield yeah. were professional about their job and got the they got the free deserved points. And I think I think you're I think you're right. I think <coughs> Wolverhampton, I think Wolverhampton have believed their own hype. Yeah. And I think that they've actually thought that you know the quality from the championship will see us through. Like they have shown the whole world, the Premiership is not. But they're, they're, but they're not they're, they're walking in these games no, but I was going to say do you think like they're not even playing the, football the effort yeah, oh my God, it's know, awful it's, it's yeah, bad yeah the effort levels are bad it's yeah. bad but do you think Neves was getting them, absolutely though? slapped on her because let's bear in mind that this is like this is their first year in the Premier League right yeah. this is their second year <coughs> maybe their third year at most of this sort of Portuguese project <coughs> yeah I think maybe like last season was like Ruben Neves maybe the year before they've got like the Helder Costas or whatever yeah yeah so it's almost like but to, for, for us to expect anything other than um, mid table, no, no. I, what are you saying? Try. My thing is they Just try. They, they go to Old Trafford and show up. They come to the Emirates and show up. Their first game against Everton at home. City they show drew. Up. They drew a City. But they, they think it's they, hard. It's hard to move. No, the for, thing is, for that, for that the thing is, I would have said, you know what? Fair play to them. They've actually tried it against these big lot. Whereas you, I expect them to get beat by them lot. Yeah, but I expect them to beat what's around them. And they don't do that. That's, that's why... That's what point's lying, isn't it? One win, they'll win here and lose next week. Win here and lose next week. They'll finish 10th with yeah. 10 wins and 10 defeats and whatever draws. Because that's, that's, that seems like what they're going to do. Unless they, get, unless they buck their ideas up and get it together. And Nuno, whatever his, his name is, he looks like he's a no-nonsense manager for them. So he does look like he'll... You know, if, 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 if people start slacking, he'll get them into gear. But they, they've got to take this seriously. I just don't think they're t- taking it seriously. I, can't like, I, th- I think we're, we're, playing them. we're playing them at the best time to play them. Mm. We're playing them at, like right in the slap bang in the middle of like the Christmas fixtures. Yeah. He does a lot to rotate his squad, so them men are going to be knackered. It's murked. So I can't, but can't fair wait. play to Huddersfield. You lot did brilliantly. Player of the week. Son gets a shot. He was, Son good. He was shot. incredible. Sako actually had a decent game. Sako. Yeah, yeah. Sako did all right. Um, can't think player of the week. I was Aaron Moy. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna say Son, you know. Son did very Son well. Son uh, even even Wan Bissaka. <laughs> I'm I'm a big fan of this you man. Hey he's, he's 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 showing man, he's not just like sort of like one minute. No, because I remember well, he's the best one on one defender in the league. I I, I remember um when Fosu Mensa got injured at Palace and I was like oh, for flip sake Tim. Yeah. And then Bissaka came on and I forgot what game it was. I was like, who is this you? Yeah. Like, he, and then he's consistently played 
Even when he got the red card against Liverpool, I thought, you know what? He's just, he's just a kid. He's trying, he's, he's trying his best or whatever. I think he had to do that as well because Salah was, in ha, yeah, ha, Salah was, was in on goal. And he did, yeah, so, sick recovery pace actually to get in. The no, the guy, no, the guy is incredible. Like nineteen, yeah. Like it makes me think like we've got Dallo, but my gosh, like United need to keep tabs on this kid. Yeah, man, he needs to be a winger he's as well. He's quality, man. Yeah. He but, can defend. But it wasn't, apparently, it wasn't good enough to be a winger. We're going to make the grade, so he had to actually like pattern up and train. To be right back. Okay. That's nah, he's quality. Yeah. If, if it wasn't for Son's performance, yeah. I would have given it to Wamba Zaka. Yeah. Like, he's, he's quality. <laughs> I don't think someone in the Palace defence should, should Yeah, be, like, honestly. Like contender, That's good. interesting. That's interesting. I, I would have given it to Moy, but if we're saying it's uh, Hun Min Son, yeah. he, he was, it was a left You go with that. Goal of the week. Son. Will it be Son again? Son. Yeah. Bruv, he murked. I'm sorry, Sane's finish was not nice. Oh! That was just, that was just, oh. That was not Who did he nice. send to oh. Grace? <laughs> for, 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 for Tottenham cake. No, he said, he Sane is a piss for Tottenham cake. I don't remember that cake. <laughs> that no, I'm saying, that was, he's like Percy Ingle, Gr- uh, Greg's, that was my cake. It used to be like 50p. That cake was banging. Uh, banging, bro. It was a buff square, bro. I loved it. <laughs> a pink Tottenham cake. <laughs> oh, mate, fam. <laughs> But hey, um, yeah, he sent Barbuena to the curb. And I remember that, that, that was bad. It was in a six yard box. And the keeper that. too. And the keeper was gone as well. Fat yeah, skill James, what did I expect? Um but yeah, I am giving it to Sane. Arm, was, Arm, Armstrong let one rip against He Fulham. did, he did indeed. And even Mitrovic's finish I thought was world class. Um but yeah, it's gonna be Leroy Sane that gets the goal of the week. Team of the week. Huddersfield. Huddersfield? Spurs? I thought Spurs were incredible. <coughs> Spurs played out of their skin, actually, to be fair. Um, Spurs are... Spurs like, the scoreline score was so unflattering to them. Yeah, Spurs... Spurs hey! Should, hey, uh, Os- Oscar should have been... Hey, Chelsea got bopped, you know? You know what's so funny? Yeah, they did, indeed. Giroud's header, though, was just so satisfying. <laughs> I, don't it, I don't know what it was about it, but when he scored that head, I just... You were like... Injected some of my yeah, face. It, it felt good. I was <laughs> like, the Arsenal with you, innit? Yeah, Arsenal with him Arsenal too. He was like, oh, what a goal. Hey, what a header. No. It was a neat, clean header. You can't let Spurs get off scot free. They no. need at least something. <laughs> they need something. Do you know what I mean? I, I, it was just a satisfying goal. I um, By the way, Spurs, um, what, five points by Man City at this stage of the season. How do you think their season has gone thus far? Bearing in mind they had, they never spent a single penny on players in the close season. Um, Spurs, look, it's... Because it's a weird one, and I, I, I genuinely don't know. It depends what happens in Europe. Because it's affecting them one way or another. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like... Okay, let's say, let's, let's say they come out, bottom of their group. They won't finish bottom. I think they'll finish yeah, third. PSV, I think they'll come to. I think they'll come to the Europa League. Europa? Whoa! Europa! Europa. Oh, you know, and I get Europa still. Uh, Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal, Spurs semi-final, double leg. Oh, in my... Um, yeah, Tottenham get team of the week. Uh, who's not that guy this week? Oh, no, hang on. Who's not the team of the week? Who's awful? Would you say Chelsea? Would you say Wolves? Wolves would say Man United. Ooh. <coughs> those, are, <coughs> those are the top three. I'll say Man United simply because you people were telling me that deal was like, oh, um, it's Crystal Palace, you know. Like, <coughs> I said, bro, it's Palace. Wait, what did he say? Pa- palace at home. He was like, because cause, cause I think in the beginning, yeah. we're playing well. He was like, bro, you're not playing well, you know. Yeah. I said, it's Palace. It's Crystal Palace. It's Crystal Palace. Yeah. yeah. Recognise. And then at that's the 80th minute, it was, it was like, team, oh, come on, United, United, man. I said, it's Palace. Yeah. Both, the, the same phrase used in different contexts. It's Crystal Palace. Absolutely. If you cannot be Crystal Palace at home, you're not. Show me the top four. Oh, you, bro. You show us that I was seething when we drew there. <laughs> seething. <laughs> they had not scored a home goal bro, this season. We gave them two bro, penalties. Bro, I had a seething. big argument, yeah, with one Liverpool man. There. He's telling me yeah. that I'm being harsh when I say that Liverpool were not good enough to, to uh, win the league. It's yeah. not harsh. It's just you have to look at the, the, I said, the environment that you're in. Because you said you said if if Liverpool this season, like lose to Ch- City on goal difference, yeah, you'd be like, all right, cool. I said that's pathetic, yeah. Because I'll 
piss me off. Yeah. I said, do you remember the, 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 the year we lost to City on goal difference? I was fuming. What the fuck? Because, because, and I, and I said to him, what the fuck is he doing the year after? He bought a striker. He nicked yeah? the best striker he in the league. He nicked the best striker in the league. In, in world yeah? football at the time, he 31 said, goals. Well, it happens as well. <laughs> and, oh, for 24 <laughs> million quid. It happens. I'll do that oh, every day of the week. He said, he was like, oh, but you know, things happen in the league. I said, things shouldn't happen. Yeah, if you're Liverpool, if you you're, you're meant to have signed all these you know sick what? guys, I hope yeah, Liverpool lose the league on goal difference because I'll look at his face, <laughs> I look at his face, and I'll rewind us back to the episode two of the podcast this season. <laughs> yeah, because oh my god, that would that oh. would that would make my day. Wait, that wait, why? Wait, hang on a minute, why? Because I want you to do it well. Go buy a striker, buy a striker, buy a centre forward in January. But that's, that's, that's just to suit your agenda, because essentially... Of course, though! No, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your point? What's your point about, about, about winning the league? What Firmino, Firmino is not good enough to win the league. Is Salah good enough? He is, but he's the winner. I'm but, about if, but, but if he puts up striker numbers, what's the issue? No, no, no. See, this is what... You see, that's why Liverpool... Yeah. yeah. That's exactly why Liverpool I, 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 I can That's I, exactly why Liverpool... You see, th- it's that mentality. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm trying to tell all these Liverpool fans here, yeah, oh. you need to bad up the league. Oh, my eyes. Wait, like, wait, wait. Th- yeah, you see, it's, listen, it's like, your listen, bro, Every league champion, they have a number nine that scores... Bolton! And, I'll and be, then I'll they have a winger, double figures, both ends. Right? So you can't come to this league with your thirty goal a season winger, and Firmino's oh, getting five. But Firmino's not gonna come on. Nine. Firmino's not, Firmino's not gonna end the season with five league goals. That's well, how many has he got? How now? many did he score last year? Sixteen. <coughs> he got sixteen. Yeah. Your supposed number nine got you sixteen goals. Yeah. That's Lukaku numbers. And the thing is, yeah. But but Salah scored thirty two. Yeah, and you, when you finish, where? Did you finish? Where, where did you finish? Yeah, because our defence was... Oh, stop it, man. But stop I, that. I, 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 is, is Van Dijk going to lead you to a league title? He can, potentially. Is, is he going to? Is he going to? Time will tell, would it? Bro, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Liverpool's top goal scorers, right? I see Salah, he's in the top seven, right? He's in the top seven. I mean, like, don't, no, don't, don't make it sound like that. He, you know, he's like joint, sec, joint second because everyone's got seven and eight goals. Well, yeah, but I'm scrolling down. He says he's in the top seven. Don't make I'm, it sound like that. What? He says he's seven. A goal scored eight. He's top goal scorer. Salah's scored seven. <laughs> he is a striker. pierre He's Aubameyang has eight. Less minutes. But anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm scrolling. Peel, 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 I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I am looking for Firmino. I'm looking Where's for Firmino? it. But you know you're not going to find him. He's only scored three goals. Three, he's number 30 in the top goal. What, look how he scored more goals than him? Huh? Bro, that's fine. That's fine. Because that's not fine. Pedro, Pedro, stop it, Adrian. Pedro Pedro first, first, first of first of all, first of all, Pedro has more goals than Firmino. Hold on, what? Pedro has, Firmino. Pedro has more goals than Firmino. Firmino, Firmino never played up front no more. Lucas Moura. Firmino never played up front. You're lucky, I'm naming players that don't even play that. Firmino never played up front no more. I'm blaming. Oh, here we go. Felipe Anderson has more. goals. No, you're lying. So keep going. Keep going, please. Keep going. Keep going, please. Keep going, please. How many and then tell me, tell me, tell me how many. Played, this guy's probably played an hour. Tell me, tell me how many of their teams have 33 points oh, wait, wait, in 13 wait, wait, games. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Hold on, t- hold, t- on t- hold on, hold on, Adrian, don't do that. Okay, uh, let, let, do let that. me get there then. Riyad Mahrez has more goals than Firmino. Nah, you're lying. Eric Lamella. <laughs> Eric Lamella. <laughs> nah, you're lying. David Silva has more goals than him. Oh, and Blaise Scherla has more goals than him. Leroy Sane has more goals than him. I knew I didn't play this season. Roberto Pereira. Nah, you're lying. <laughs> what Watford? Alvaro Morales. Nah, you're lying. You have, you have to sign. Josh King. You have to sign out here. You've got to sign out of this here. Josh King with, with no hairline. <laughs> nah, you're mad. No hairline, Josh. Nah, you're Glenn mad. Friggin' Murray. I can't look. Well, my mum's gonna say three goals. Get Murray's dead. Get Murray's dead. Marco uh, Nato. Stop it, man. Alexander Lacazette. Look, you're talking about we're talking about players here. What? I, I, it's just unreal. Nah, no, it's poor. But okay, but, but here's, 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 here's my no, argument. Here's my no, argument. No, no, I'm gonna end with it. Danny friggin' Ings. Okay, we let him go. Danny Ings. Here's my argument. Here's my argument. Goals. No, here's my argument. I want to hear this. We've got 21. We've got positive 21 goal difference. What does that mean? Huh? Don't worry, they'll lose on goal difference. What does that mean? Right. So, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What does that mean? What it means? That means Adrian, that football, football, Adrian, you're football. moving like Remy, you know. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Adrian, you're moving like Remy, you know. Let me, let me justify. Let me justify, right? <coughs> Football's a game of attacking and defending. <laughs> you're you telling me about football. Oh, God. It, it, about attacking and defending. In case you didn't know. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I, I was we're seeing a more balanced approach this season. Because what does that mean? It means what does that mean? We've got our best ever Premier League Jordan Henderson all time. got sent off in the last game. Because he's pants. And then we scored another yeah. goal after he went. So what does that mean? Wait. 
Wait. No, you're centre forward. Yeah. What do you want? You're centre forward. You're talking about your other guy scoring goals. I'm going to name you the other guys that have the same goals. That's what I'm saying. Because sort of, I've run through the ones who score more. Okay. The ones that have scored the hey, same. Hey, you're moving mad, you know. I have to back my team. Is that, jump, is that jumper, bro? Sam Vokes. <laughs> Paul Pogba. Okay. Has more goals than Firmino. Has the same goals. Oh, Paul Pogba. <laughs> Callum Patterson. At, at any Cardiff. point, did I say three goals was good? Hang on. Callum okay. Patterson. Yeah. Mesut Ozil. Wow. James Madison. Okay. Raul Jimenez. Andre whoa, Gray. whoa, 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 whoa. Him and has three goals. That's three goals. You're kidding me. Andre, no, he Andre Gray, yeah, he has. Three goals. Anyway. Okay, that's shocking. Fraser and Brooks have got three goals. Ross, Ryan Fraser. Ross Barkley. Yeah. Come on. If Adrian. that's your centre forward, you're not winning the league. I it's, just, it's over. Look at, look at who scored more. It's over. We're not, not, not winning the league. Sign a centre forward, bruv. Oh. I'm being serious. Get Mario Icardi. If you're about this life, get, get a striker. Get, get someone lethal up front. You know, no, does not give a damn. No mercy in the box. And, and since you're, since you're, you're, you want to big up Glenn Murray, get Glenn Murray. No, but also I'm going to get Okay, Glenn then. Damn right okay, you're then. Not, damn right, you're not. No, no, but, but like, okay, the, the, the point I'm making, obviously, I know <coughs> deep in my heart, three league goals is, is appalling in the 13 games. It's unbelievable. We're in December. We're in December. I know, I know, I know. We're in December. But, but, hey, but the point, <laughs> the point, but I, I feel like you're, 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 <laughs> we're, we're third in now. He gets nine at the end of the season. Peter, figures. Peter, you're, are you a better man? I'm not a better man. No. Well, let's bet right now. Roberto Firmino will end the season with nine goals. I'm saying higher. You're saying we'll end with nine or less. Let's just <laughs> because because that's not what he said though. No, it's basically. <coughs> Peter, what did he say? He just no, said. I'm he saying, said if ratio. we're going by yeah, if we're going by ratios. Yeah, if I that's times, what, if I times what he's done now. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen. Don't do that. Two thirds. And you, you moving like Remy, you know? I can't. I can't. Wait, 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 wait. So, so what's the point of you saying that? That that, that, that he's uh, saying that if he scored three and thirteen, what's to say he's not going to score nine? But I'm asking you, put your money where your mouth is. Nah, that's not. Nah, don't do that. For me, no, for me, no. Just because you're, the, 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 you're wearing chinchilla to, to the podcast. Listen, the man's pressed that long. The, the debate is league <laughs> title. Yeah. We're talking league title. We're talking big yeah. boy things. Yeah. Wow. Where where the centre forward was twenty five, and, and 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 the wingers get seventeen fifteen each. Right. I said, I said, the wingers do thirty two. The other ones do sixteen. If, if, the, if the wingers do the strikers work. <laughs> Look, big you, man. No, but but, but he hit the nail on the head. The wingers doing the strikers work. Yeah, but he has no, to cover let's, himself. Let's, let's, but then, but then the wingers the strikers job is not enough. Let, let's let let's let's flip it. Let's flip it. Ah, oh, here we go. go. He's trying Salah. it. Salah's Salah. 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 our main man. Yeah, Firmino's our winger. Oh, oh here we go. What's, what's the problem? He's trying it. Where, where, where's trying the problem it. in that? There is a massive problem. problem. What's the problem in that? There's a massive problem. You just missed a man's up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The last time you finished second in the league, who who took you there? Sa- um, Suarez. Oh, okay. Is he a, is he a winger? Centre. He's good. Is he a winger? Is he a winger? No, he's a winger. He's a striker. Is, is, is Sturridge a winger? Huh? Is Sturridge a winger? No, he's not. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. But you finished second, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, one got my, two, two points behind, right? One got in the 20s, that one got in the 30s. Two, so point, two points, right? Sterling, I think, got you a good 15 for good Now, my, my, my rebuttal is... <laughs> Here we go. Sal- and Suarez is best season in for Liverpool. You got us 31 in the league. Salah got us 32 in the league. Yeah, but he well, has stuff that scored like twenty two in the league. And my point is we've got Mane, oh. we've got we've got Name Mane. Name me the guy Mane. that got you twenty plus. No Name me the guy in your squad. Last season. No Liverpool player this season besides Salah will get twenty goals in the league for you. And that's why you lose the league. Because Salah's doing the striker's job. And no one's coming. Name me the Salah's guy last Salah's season who got you twenty goals in the league. It's Name over. me the guy. <laughs> it's over. But but when Mares, we, when, when already, we look, already Mares, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, and what was the other one? Aguero, really? have, and Sane all have more goals but than did we, did, did, five did, of them. Did we, did we not win the league last season because of a lack of goals or because of poor defending? Both. Correct me if I'm wrong, we were like second highest goals in the league last season. Both. Because you, you clearly didn't outscore everyone. Yes, your defence was shoddy. Your defence was awful. But um, you, you did so, so, so that's my point then. I, I feel like we <coughs> rectified the issues we've needed to. Don't worry, when, when, when it comes down to... But why are you second? When you have 91 points each. Why are you second? Why are we second? Well, we're second because Man City have more points than us at the moment. Yeah. Is it? You want to play that game? Why? And why do they? Because they score more goals. Well, yeah. Well, there you go. Then. And they, they score more hey, goals. Look, we'll, we'll argue this till Kingdom Come. I'm no, Adrian, I'm, no, it's not an argument because Adrian knows exactly what we're saying. No, I, but I, you I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. It's the jumper. It, it's the jumper. It's the jumper. Oh, man, Ricky missed an open goal. But also, also what, 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 what you might have to hear... Oh, he missed. Hit. Bloody hell, go well, on. What, what you might have to hear as well is, is the point I'm making is that uh, like, like, at the end of the day, yeah. we're not going to score as many goals as Man City. I hold my hands up and I accept that. But, but why is that? 
Why why won't you score as many goals as Man City? Because they've got they've got they've got a better team. They've got a better striker. Hmm. That's why. Hmm. His name's Aguero, who does nothing really for half the season, but still gets you twenty. He scored goals. twenty in twenty one last, last season. season. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how crazy that is? Hmm. I can't remember his last goal. Somebody was saying that he doesn't he hasn't scored away this season. Is that, is that, is that even bro, right? Bro. I don't think that's even true. And yeah, he's, he's, he's got eight goals. goals. He, but he's a top goal scorer in the Come league. on, man. Come on. Come anyway. on. Anyway. <sighs> Who's not that guy this week? <coughs> Who is not that guy? The thing is, yeah. Oh, I've got one maybe. Does he play for Leicester? No. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I had one for Leicester. Ah, oh, bro, I can't, I can't be like, by the time Leicester came on, I was asleep. <laughs> yeah. So you missed a dive. You missed the player who got booked and sent off within two minutes. I saw the analysis for that match of the day. It was awful. <coughs> it was uh, what? Ra- random, it was yes, awful. I'm going to guess it was Gray. No, it was James Madison. What? Madison? Madison hey, Painting he, called he, Madison. He the thing is, down, is that he misses the Carabao Cup game because obviously Leicester are playing their Carabao Cup. That's all right, that's all right. Man. So it was, a, it was a lucky one for him. I, d- I don't know what Henderson, I thought he was missing. Henderson? Did, did you see his red card? Oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> I don't think it was a red, though. Was, as far I as. It was, a red, it was two yellows. No, as in, in terms of. I don't think Very either similar. of the fouls were. Because he's like, success is pulling my shirt as well. Yeah. I don't I don't yeah. feel like any of the fouls were legit fouls, but obviously if the ref has his eye on you, then that's you for the night. Bear in mind, I am not sure match of the day I saw it, but Henderson was talking like talk to the referee like literally I Because because Henderson before. thinks he, he's he's flipping Apollo Creed. I don't know I don't know what he's I on. Said he thinks he's Apollo Creed. Ever since he stored down Diego Costa, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been moving mad. No but that no but that was a stare down, you know. That was a stare. That was a stare down. I was like, mate, do you want to do this? You could go to the Anthony car park right now. Uh, <laughs> trust me, man. I think I've got one. If you, He's unless so you store, man. Ugh. The guy is salt and pepper. Yeah. That's it, bro. Is even that sometimes? No, nah, because, like, you know why people say, like, season? Wow. And it's like, just, like, Gordon Ramsay say season. Bit, and it's just I, literally I, black pepper and salt in that. A bit of zest. A bit, you get me? A bit of lemon zest. You get me? And then that's, that's enough spice. Wait, wait, could, could you man live with like no spice, no peppers for a year? Nah. But you, you get 30 bags at the end of it. 30 bags is not worth my time. For the year? For the year. 30? It's not worth my time. Yeah, I'll take it though, still. So. No, no salt, no pepper. It's not worth my I'm time. I'll do no, no. it for a year. Yeah, for a year. It's not yeah, worth I'm... my time. You need to be talking big, big, big bucks. Mm. 30 racks. Come on, bro. Like, if you eat whatever you like, it just can't be seasoned well. No, it's dead. Fair give me 30 racks. Did you give me more than 30? What, 60? More than that. What, 100 bags? Do you know how much, like, emotionally, like, man is attached to food? Ah, <laughs> oh, bro. In, in the sense that, like, I'm not saying that, like, we, we, like, worship the thing. I'm just saying, like, can you imagine eating the food you love and it's not seasoned? Ah! Oh. This is my point. <laughs> so before you say yes to 30 racks, think about it. Well, I have to do it for a year. Yes, yeah. for 12 months. Unseasoned. You might as well just get a job and just get a 30 grand salary, Blood. basically. Um, right, look, not that guy. I'm going to pick up a guy. Right? Yeah, right, it's not worth it. This Can we establish, be... by the way, before you start, that Mourinho's in the Hall of Fame? I think he is. He has, is he already there? But, but, he, but no, for he what? Has, he hasn't been put there. But what was his defining moment? He's, he, he's stealing a living. It's like, no, no, but you know, like when mankind's like when you got thrown off the hell in a cell, that's when it was like, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, what's, what, what's his thing? No, but Mourinho's committed many crimes. Yeah, exactly. So, what's, what's the and thing so, that's so, so, so for me? I think for the fact when he said three also means three <laughs> Premier League champions, I think that was brilliant. As you well know as, what? As well as, for me, for, it's a bill. And, and yeah, I was going to say, it's it's a a bill, but, yeah, I was going to say, the game, whatever the game was following from, from Seville. When he lists and names everything they done in 2015, 14. Yep. <laughs> For me, that was the beginning of the end. The writing has been in the whole thing. So he's part of the Hall of Fame. That Champions League defeat yeah, against he's part of it. I just want to pinpoint the exact you know moment when. None of us have spoken about the performance at all. Because I forgot it. What's the point? I forgot it. What's the point? Because <laughs> he <laughs> took the show. He took the show on both of those occasions. Well, oh. I, I, I sat there in disbelief. I think Mourinho is part. Oh, I'm gonna watch that press conference tonight. Ben Yeda who? That was that was that was, I, I was in disbelief. Ben Yeda who? Because the question that he's asked and the answer he gives are two very separate things. 
He starts talking about the record. The guy asks him about, I don't know, about his performance for Manchester Do you think he can still take Manchester United? Something random like that. And he goes, in 13-14, Man United, 69 points. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I, I, I was dying. I, I couldn't believe My what I inter- saw. My intern? <laughs> nah, he was a clown. This man was born on the 25th of October, 1994. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> Question. Yes. You see, for goal of the week, yeah? Yeah. Bournemouth scored an incredible Ah, goal. indeed. And that's why he's in this list. Oh, so this guy. <laughs> it's this guy, indeed. He comes from Colombia, and he moved over to Levante. Playing Wait, not that guy. That's harsh. From though. 2015 to 2018. Well, no one's giving me a person. Perfect. Um, he played 56 appearances for Levante um, and then got the signing, a record signing for Bournemouth in 2018. <coughs> now he's got 10 appearances and he has one goal to his name. The other goal that he has to his name, spectacularly, was a f- fantastic volley at the Vitality Stadium against Arsenal Sunday at the t- at one thirty kickoff, where he gave Arsenal the lead. And for that reason alone, because he, he, he's not a bad player, but what he's the, the goal he scored was spectacular. <coughs> that should have been goal of the week. Still. And for that re- yeah, reason, uh, it was uh, worthy of goal of the week. But for that reason, Jefferson Lerma, L- Lerma rather Jefferson Andres Lerma Solis, you're not that guy, bro. Sort it out. <coughs> now, hey, that was a goal, you know. Phenomenal. Tech. It was unbelievable finish. That was Tech Squared, blood. It is Tech Squared, right? Let us go to the fixtures that are coming up. It's Can we skip the Man United fixtures from here on out? No, we can't. Bruh, here on out? Like, till There's till Friday May. night football, ladies and gentlemen. It's Cardiff City at home to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves are back on the TV again, and they'll lose again. Cardiff home win, I'm going for. Wolves, Wolves win. Wolves are pathetic, Adrian. 1-1. One, one. Are they giving me that look? Be- one, That's one. a pathetic score anyway. Uh, three o'clock kickoff. Crystal Palace at home to Burnley. Palace. 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 Huddersfield <coughs> Town at home to Brighton. Brighton. Oh, oh, you're going for an away win, Brighton. Mm-hmm. I might go for I a home win. Yeah. Huddersfield are in a good bit of form. I might go for a home win for Huddersfield. Leicester City at home to Watford. Leicester City at home. I'm going Watford away win, you know. Getting Leicester. I'm okay, going Watford. Watford. Oh. Man City at home to Bournemouth. Oh, bloody hell. Can we skip the Man City fixtures? You know what, lads? It's, it's, it's times like this, I get what you're talking about. What's the point? The thing is, no, we I say that. watching it. We say that. But Bournemouth will give him a game. Will they? What, 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 what does that mean, that 90 minutes? For 60 we'll minutes? For 60 yeah. minutes, yeah. maybe. That's, that's, so that's what I it, mean, what it this means. time last year, they lost like 6 0 there. Yeah, Stella's got like a hat trick one time, hasn't it? Maybe. They lost 4 0. I think I had, had, had last time. Okay, see. Um. Newcastle at home to West Ham. <coughs> Ooh! At St James's. It's a, it's a tough one because I can't predict West Ham. Can't predict Newcastle. And Newcastle are on a good bit of form though. They Since they started winning, I think this would be like their third win in a row if they get it. If it's like fourth I'm beating as well. Yeah. So I'm going to go New, Newcastle. Home but, win. But Rafa's, Rafa's good at that, isn't he? He is. Good at them little mazy runs. He is indeed. They, now. They end up 12th by a miracle. I tell you what, five thirty kickoff is Southampton at home to Manchester United. The fact that this is on TV, I think I've got more faith in Southampton getting something out of this. I didn't realise it was at St Mary's. Mark Hughes on the books at that time. The thing is, he still will be, won't he? Yeah. They can't. United won. United away win. Ernest. Just, just be on silence. Okay. I'll tell you that as a Man United win. <laughs> Uh, full house, man. United. Take care, you it's not a full man. house. No, no. Stop, stop doing that. It's well, not a full house. What's the goal? <laughs> we are not beating Southampton. <coughs> it's Southampton, at least. Nah. See, Mark, I'll dash my phone. I'm somewhere. Mark Hughes for Southampton. We do. We couldn't beat Palace. Southampton are worse. Yeah, Southampton are worse. But, and and worse by a, a mile, country mile, by the way. Um, Twelve o'clock. I tell you what, it's it's, it's the Derby Sunday, as they want to call it. Um. Chelsea at home to Fulham. Hey, I think yeah, and I think this, I think this because I <coughs> want this to happen. Okay, I'm gonna do as the the postmodernists do, and I'm gonna speak it into existence, mm-hmm. as they say. Yeah, yes, yeah. Ernest. Um, which is a, a whole load of rubbish, but flipping, I think Fulham. I want Fulham to win, so Fulham will win. Away from home, yes. Ranieri back at the bridge. Yes, that'd be sick if he does. 
Because Joe Michael Seri is going to meet his African brother <laughs> in Golo Kante and say, Hey, brother. brother. How Kante, are you Kante, Seri, and Keita just need a link up. Eh? <laughs> 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 I just need a... I'll tell you what, as long as David Luiz is in this side, anything's possible. No, so. no, I feel, I feel like with Luiz, I feel like it's one in seven. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter because the one is always crucial. It's vital. No, what, what I'm saying is, I think it'll be good for the next few weeks, and then and then it'll raise ugly head again in like Listen, December. Listen, the, the Man United game at home, Chelsea should have never been drawing that game. Yeah, right. Then, then what we saw the debacle at Wembley. Listen, listen. First, first of all, you got let you down. got out of the way of Harry Kane right? <coughs> for starters. Just no, 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 no. Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go to the You're start. You're to get in the way of all of that. You see, well, what sort of stupid foul did he give to give away the first three games? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Number one. That's for one. <laughs> Bear in mind, Spurs got three goals that game. So this guy was, was this guy was at fault for all three goals. Second goal. Oh my God. Harry Kane had the shot. Not one, one, one. You see, not that guy. Yeah. I feel really stupid. Oh my God. Yeah. No, how did we miss that with Louis? He got away with bloody murder. He got away with bloody murder. He can't, he can't get away with that. I'm so sorry. And the thing is, I'm shocked you didn't get up to him. Do you know what? Yeah, I was ready. Oscar's not here. Because I was going to lace it down. Because I was... <laughs> lay, lay the smack of down. To see Tottenham get beat is always a pleasure of mine. But what I saw... <laughs> what I saw on the telly, where Chelsea were getting piped by Spurs, I sat there oh, yeah. in disgust. It, they were so bad, Hazard had to go. <laughs> Hazard has had enough. I'm, I'm surprised he's still there. Yeah, I'm surprised he's still there. Don't worry, David Luiz is going to that Hall of Fame very, very soon. Because I'll wait for one more mistake. Three mistakes, and then he's out. That's I'm, like, I'm, I'm sure, for I'm one sure more. he wasn't there already. Uh, I, I, I remember, was, 20, was it 2014, 15? I used to rinse. How many, how many episodes we had? Remember, remember when they signed him back? Really? They sold yeah. him for 50 million. And then they bought him back for yeah, 30 million. So I'm, I'm like, and I was rinsing that transfer sign. I'm, I'm shocked he's not there. <clears throat> I'll never forget when they bought him back. And I was cussing. I was like, this is what Chelsea had to offer. Box to box centre back. Box to box centre back. <laughs> in fairness, he had a good season last year. He did. He was did. in a back three, fair enough, but he had a good season that year. Anyway. Oh, God, yeah. So, to Derby Sunday, we, we all going Chelsea home win. Yeah. We want Fulham to win, but you know. Arsenal at home to Spurs, 2 or 5 kickoff. Oh, what's a, what's a Sunday? <coughs> Where you going? What a Sunday? Where you going, Arsenal? Spurs? Where you going? Spurs. Spurs away win? Going Arsenal. I'm gonna go Arsenal just. Um, Liverpool at home to Everton. Four fifteen kickoff. Unusual. Four fifteen kickoff. First derby in a while. I'm actually afraid. What? No, cause I, no, because you know what? I was gonna say. I feel like Marco Silva is going to make this a game. Mm. Do you know what? Do you know this is Everton's best start to the season in the Premier League. They're like sixth. I don't know where they are, but I was They've been quietly either. plugging away, bro. They are six. Quietly. They're five points behind Arsenal. Yeah, they are six, but I don't know. I just don't believe no, it. No, bro, there was one week, I saw, <coughs> I saw Everton start a lineup. I said, this isn't a bad team at all, man. It's not, but he needs a striker. I mean, you're saying Luke... No, no, they're, they're, they're playing with Charleston there now. Yeah, but why? Because he, he's not a centre-forward. He's not, but he is. You know, they're making the best of a bad situation. I mean, look, you've got Bernard... Tosin is awful. Gomez, you've got Bernard... Tosin is awful. Yes. Cavalier is even worse. But at least Cavalier can run, so maybe he's better than Tosin. But pick the boys in there. Buy a striker, isn't it? Just find one. Yeah. Find a striker. I know you guys aren't a fan of Everton spending fifty million a year on a player, but this no fifty million striker. Just get over the line. Just get over and done with. If, you know what? Where is their cash coming from? If they still had Lukaku, you, your guy, Usmanov, isn't it? Alicia. Alicia. The Uzbeki. Honestly, if, if they still had Lukaku, yeah, things, things could be rosy for them. No, it's true. My mum was bagging them 25 a season. It's absolutely true. Because it's his level. No, it's absolutely true. I genuinely feel like he should have stayed now, looking back. He, should have, he was happy, he was a clean man. Stayed. No, no, well, well, he wasn't happy because he, he kept running his mouth. <laughs> yeah, fair play. Uh, he took it out too because, like, yeah. ah, what, what did his dad say? He's either going to go to Bayern, Bayern or, or Man United, <laughs> top club, talking that smack. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rondo looks a bit like Veron. Man, Sebastian Veron. The, the, the little Tash. Liverpool will win this derby. I hope so. All the teams at the, the teams at home will win the derby. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool. Yeah, but Everton, Ever, Ever, they're no pushovers. Uh, I think they are. They're just they're in a second division in the Premier League, so we'll just treat it like that, basically, and you'll be fine. That well, sums up t- this week. T- t- technically, they're in the third division. Third. All of us are in the second division. See, see, on. I'll see in their own league, and then it's the second tier, and then it's Everton. Cash on the phone before.
that for that. Just for that. For that. Anyway. Uh, that sums up this week's top four podcast. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. You've done it.